Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Flink. I'm joined by the one and only, the human turret, one of the best ARs to ever do it. Give it up for the world champ himself, Sam LaRue, a.k.a. Octane. We got some of the best analysis in the game, the world champ himself. Give it up for Christopher Duarte Parasite. And of course, we got the one and only, the multi-champion, the multi-world champion, the legend, the icon to the Call of Duty space. Give it up for Patrick Price Aches. Gentlemen, what's going on? No Ben today. He's golfing. <laughs> Chris, Chris is loving it. Chris, we'll start with you. Chris, how are you feeling today, man? I saw you working out and shit. <sighs> Fucking watching the yeah. games and shit. How are you feeling, bro? You feeling all same, right? Same old, same old. We got some uh, decent matches today, even though it is, uh, you know, Friday. So I'm not too disappointed. Got a haircut. Got some leg day in. You know, good, it, was a, it was a great day. Thank you, bro. Appreciate yeah, it. it yeah, really good. It looks very good. It fits you. It looks phenomenal. Got Barber did a good job. He didn't fuck you up. Uh, LaRue, how you doing, LaRue? You doing all right? It was an eventful day, bro. Listen, Ben's not here, so I'm going to run you guys through my whole day, just how he does it. So yep, today, Tom, sure. I woke up. I started streaming some ranked. I was like, damn, X Defiant comes out today. Can't yep. wait to play that. Then I played X Defiant for three hours. Got all that dope. Then you decided to skip the watch party on YouTube so you could play X Defiant off stream. That's the word we're using, Sam. Skip. That's what we yeah, use. Yeah, you decided to play okay. hooky today, Zuma okay. Bueller's day off. So then I had to babysit the chat <laughs> for which I was underprepared. I didn't have the required resources to, to, to accommodate the Zoo Mafia on your day off while you were playing hooky. So I took care of the chat during the watch party today, and it was a blast. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was an absolute banger. Sam, I'm great seeing time. a lot of wild Luigi's being spammed in the chat. We don't talk about that. Okay. The Zoo Mafia, they love to attack we these motherfuckers. They love to attack. And then, of course, uh, you know, Sam said uh, I was skipping uh, the watch party today. Mm -hmm. I just had internet problems. Uh, I... Uh, tried to go. I, I I tried to go live today, and it just uh, something's wrong with my modem. The, it keeps going in and out. The connection. I got a technician coming tomorrow at 8 a.m. So hopefully oh, we could continue also, to watch party tomorrow. Forgot the weather. It was nice and sunny today. Got to get all the Benj mm -hmm. checkpoints. I forgot that, the weather as well. That's weird. Um, that you said you had a lot of internet problems because I'm looking right here. I see a woman with two A's. A lot of X Defiant hours Ooh. logged today. <laughs> That's got to be you capped because I started. Think. The first thing I did today, Slay, when I logged on to my PC was to update X Defiant, and it wasn't moving, and my internet kept crashing, and I couldn't update it properly, Slay. I couldn't update it properly. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you got to be, be an imposter. That might be know. a fake. That's got to be a fake Zoom or an imposter, Pat. It's, it's got to be. You know, there's no other way. Before we move on, though, I do want to shout out FaZe Clan, bro. They, we got a new office space here, Sam. I know you know where it is. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, really dope space, and I wouldn't be live here today doing the show if it wasn't for FaZe hooking it up with a last-second setup, so huge shout-out to them. I had to drive over real quick, get, get it all going, and, and we're here, so shout-out to FaZe Clan, man. It wouldn't be possible without them, so huge shout-out to them. Pat, X Defiant, it was released today. What, what What's today? Just kind of like a, uh, like a play test, uh, Pat? It's not going to be out forever, right? It's just for a few days? Yeah, it's a 48-hour server test session, Tom. Kind of like a, a validation of, you know, wanting to get as many players on our servers as possible. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's exciting, right? Whenever, anytime you show the public again, obviously, we've done it a couple times, uh, what we're working on, it's, it's a good day. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's good to hear, Pat. I'm sure that's all exciting news. How's it been playing out, Sam? I know you've been playing X to Find a little bit. It's a I've fucking been... blast, Tom. You love it, Sam? You like it? I'm like People think I'm glazing, but I, I it, like it's it's so refreshing to play an FPS on controller that isn't COD. Like, I know there's like Halo and like things like that, but like yeah. actually, it's just it's just nice, bro. I like yeah. I like the game a lot. It looked, it looked really cool watching it. I was feeding the play a little bit of it. But... It's fun as fuck. I can't lie. And there's no SBMM, so I'm fucking tucking people to bed. It's great. I love that. Pat, any any hiccups with the with the twenty with the forty eight hour? Has everything been going smooth? Yeah, so far it's been going good. Um there's a couple obviously known bugs we we talked about. Yeah. Um we had a little hiccup with uh the PS five version. You had to make sure you were clicking the server test se uh session version of the game and not like a previous one. But mm -hmm. other than that, I mean it's it's going good so far and we're obviously working through any any of the last minute bugs that pop up. Cool, yeah. Congratulations. Hopefully everything's going good there with, with X Defiant. I'm definitely going to look to play that here soon. So if you guys are interested in playing, 
hop in before it's too late, but let's move on. Let's talk about some things that happened today before we get into the matches. Guys, I'm not sure how many clips I'll have today. I was driving. Technician was over phone, on the phone with Spectrum. It was I was going back and forth all day today, man. It was hard for me to, to take notes and, and get clips. I wasn't really there for the watch party. Obviously, if anybody like Chris, Sam, or Pat, if there's anything you want to go over, I have the VOD up. We can still skim VOD and pull some things up if there's things that you guys want to pull up and uh, talk about. But, you know, bear with me with on today's uh, show because I won't have many clips for y'all. Um, just dealing with a lot of shit, but, uh, first thing I want to talk about, Optic Texas have announced that they will be hosting champs, uh, personally, I think this is cool, I, I think, uh, Optic gets a W announcement, they're hosting champs, I, they showed a layout at a stage and how it's all gonna look, I'm gonna pull it up for you guys, they're going with a center stage venue, which I w. think is awesome, that's fucking I, sick, we, I don't think anybody here could argue a center stage, uh, Venue, right? I mean, Pat, do you like center stage? Uh, yeah, I like it, huh? Um, I've actually knocked Optic out of a turner tournament from a, a, a center stage venue. Oh, really? Um, didn't see the inside of that one. Champs. Don't even know what it looked like. Oh, really, good, Sam. But um, don't even know what the inside of the nationwide looked like. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's cool. Obviously, the the venue's sick. I think it'll be a good event. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I have mixed feelings about the fact that. Optic or any organization, not, even if it wasn't Optic, if it was any team, if it was Phase, it'd be the same same problem. Yeah. Um, Champs has been hosted by a neutral entity, aka the league, for like ten plus years now. So it is weird that um, one team is is the quote unquote like face of the event. They're the host of it. Um, I think that is weird. I personally don't prefer that, um, regardless of like hometown cheese buff. I don't like that's irrelevant to me. It's just the fact that. Champs is champs, and I feel like champs should always be unique um, and mm -hmm. shouldn't be hosted by any one team. Well, what did you think yeah. about when we had an L.A. and when we won? That but wasn't LA directly was, hosted, but like it was yeah, in but, L.A. and we're an but, L.A. team. But LA, L.A. has been a champs venue like eight of the 15 I years. I know that. Actually. Sam, years. no wonder. Yeah, we got crowd cheese. You got crowd cheese, and I think you probably messed with the PCs a little bit, too. You I guys did. maybe no, had the better PCs. I was over there. I had the, yeah, no, I had the wire cutters and everything, bro, yeah. yeah. Like, even if even if this event was in Texas, I think it'd be fine. I don't I don't mind the location. I'm just saying I, I think it's weird that it's an optic-hosted event, if you know what I mean. Like, I, if, it, if it was your guys. Like, your guys' is champs was, I think it was like by Activision it was, Yeah, it was like a coincidence. Because that's, that's the majority of where champs have been I get what you're trying to say. It'd be fine if champs was in L.A. here. Yeah, so you don't Vegas want it to be like a team in a Vegas event, team. but yeah, you'd exactly. be okay if it was like Same just in Vegas. Texas. Vegas is yeah. fine. Even though you're, Vegas didn't qualify, it had nothing to do with their team. It was you just already know Optic's event. gonna get the best uh, player practice area. Like they're gonna get all the best shit over there. I don't they're think that's get... true at all. What? There's no way, uh, bro. Well, what? It's hosted by yeah. them. Why wouldn't well, it be? Well, okay, okay, okay. Would you, Pat? Would you have a problem with where the venue is if it wasn't like hosted by Optic? If it was just no. champs, this no, is the venue. no. It could be. It could be a Texas. I. I mean, so I, it's gonna be the same thing. I mentioned this the other day. No, again, not it's not it's not about the the fans and all that stuff. It's it's the fact that it's an optic hosted event. Gentlemen, that's, that's the, what's going to be boozy? What's going to be boozy? That's the fucking goat right there. Hey, it's me boozy is dashing the building. Bro. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. whoa. We're already asking the insane shit. I, was, I thought we were going to make the introduction. <laughs> no, he just got it. good? How's it going, Big Bruce? You walked into yeah. the combo. This is a combo right now. Ladies and gentlemen, right. it's the, the champ right himself. Right I, thought, I thought it was still Ben. I was getting cut off. I thought I didn't know it was. What's going on, Yo, Boosie? How you doing, brother? I'm doing all right, Tommy. It's been actually fucking phenomenal this past two hours. Yeah, it's it's on, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday to you, man. I appreciate it. Good looks. Good looks. Hell yeah, man. It's going to happy birthday, Boosie, to chat in the comments down below. <clears throat> you watch it on YouTube. Good win today, Bruce. Good win. Uh, it was solid. It was solid. What's the discussion right now? Are we talking about champs? We're, we're talking champ, about bro. the champ stage right now, which I think is dope, Bruce. You guys got a center stage and shit with a crowd around you? That's going to be fire, bro. That's gonna yeah, that was so actually sick. fire. That was fire. Uh, Pat was just talking about how he he feels that the champ stage should be hosted by a neutral party. That's what he was saying. Me personally, I don't think it makes a, a difference. I'll be honest with you, I don't think it makes a difference. I oh, wait, think, didn't LA host like the yeah they did like, the last three? We didn't it? host it, but it, it was, was it was LA. hosted by Activision though. Yeah, yeah it I, wasn't again, like again. I don't LA I don't care champs. about the location. Like I said, it could still be a, a Texas venue. Like that doesn't matter. I just think it's weird that it's it's an optic hosted event. Like it would matter where the the venues at location wise it's yeah, just, just having optics shouldn't be the one hosting behind it yeah. yeah yeah i mean i don't really okay. think it matters that much 
Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it makes that big of a deal. Um, I mean, it's I, just a tradition thing. Like, it's always been champs. I, I, I see what you're yeah, saying based on like the print. You're talking based on like the principle of it, Pat. Basically, is that what, yeah. what you're looking at? It. I mean, it's just it should it should be a Activision. It's it's a culmination of all the events throughout the year, right? Like, it's it should be the yeah. the league owner hosting the event. Either not, way, not any team. Either way, uh, having Optic host. Maybe is Optic's be good doing for, him a like, favor. <clears throat> Optics, uh, Optics is gonna make like ticket sales better. They're gonna make everything better, and um, regardless of uh, <clears throat> obviously, you know how the, like how many fans there are for Optic and stuff like that. I trust Optic to put on a amazing event. Like hey, the only the only so. like issue I would have with it is if it turns into an Optic event. Like if we show up to Champs and it's like it feels like you're playing at like a major in the Arlington Esports Arena. Like if there's like Optic shit everywhere and it's like. That seems kind of insane to me for champs because it's for everybody. It's not like for one specific team's like their major. So that's where like I would have a problem with it. But otherwise, I don't think it fucking matters. Yeah. yeah. Either way, the the, the 360 Center stage is going to be amazing. That's gonna like be so uh, sick. that's going to be such an amazing environment. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, we don't need it's to be a lit event. We're we're good. We're good, Sam. We're yeah, good. Bro. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. If I walk into champs, I'm locked in, and I see optic banners hanging from the fucking rafters, and I'm just like, I, I, mean, I would boo. Like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it'd be kind of dope, no? <laughs> for you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. I saw this one stat uh, coming from Easy Mac talking about how Pred is now two clutches in 33 opportunities. But I feel like that's a, a dumb stat, though, because Art Wait, the, what defines a clutch? What, yeah, exactly. What, the, what declines uh, opportunities? It's a 1v. It's a 1vx. It's a 1vx. Right. So how, what if it, what, what if AD was in 30 1v3s or some shit? Like, the stat is just kind of like sweet, no? If he was in, like... Doesn't it kind of defeat the purpose of the Wait, stat? Wait, what's the stat? That he's AD... two for 33. He's got no ice, bro. I can't no right. ice in Australia, man. Right. Two for 33? In is that any one like, yeah, like, but, 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 but is that like including 1v4s? Yeah, yeah, that includes yeah. exactly, everything. Bruce, exactly. Which, yeah. that's got, that's why I was like, Bruce, when I read this stat, I was like, that's such a cheese stat, bro. They make them look bad. Stat. That's an ESPN stat is what I call those. Yeah, I think I think 1v1s and maybe 1v2s are probably the only relevant stat that you could ever take from, like, clutching. Because, like, a 1v1 is just, like, a simple, like, you're gonna, like, you win those. And then, like, a 1v2 is just, like, okay. Or 1v2 plus. Like, I think they should be together. Yeah, there should guess. be context behind that stat, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Um, but uh, I pulled that out. I wanted to pull it out because some people were talking about it. So uh, let's move on. We'll talk about some of the matches. Let's hop Where's Ben in. at, by the way? My, sorry. Sorry if they're going to No, you're good. Golfing, bro. Ben is, uh, he's, he's golfing. He's doing something tonight. I don't know what he's doing. I said golf because it, it, it was funny. But I don't know what he's doing. Is he the golfing? guy's not here? He's golfing at Ohio State. fucking guy's taking days off, Tom? Yeah, that's what he told us last week. Ohio State was doing some thing in their stadium This guy does what he wants, Bruce. He does what he wants. Fucking guy just does whatever he wants, I guess. You know what I mean? He's executive producer, bro. If I day off, Tom, he's fucking mentioning it, but he can just, oh, I'm taking Isn't a day off the crazy? flank. Like, get, get your fucking ass on here. Exactly. Bruce What's left through an alarm, Ben's hitting putts off the show. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you get it, Sam. You get it. I don't know. Two plus two ain't adding up to four here. That's yeah, what I'm no, we're, we're going to have a long talk with Ben J, Bruce. Don't worry. I like that, Tom. I like that. Guy. You don't see what's going on. But let's move on. Let's talk about some of these matches today. We had the first match of the day. Now, bear with me again, guys. I, my internet was out the whole watch party, so don't have a lot of clips, but... This was a banger of a series. We had the New York Subliners going up against the Carolina Royal Ravens. I think we all can agree on the same thing with this series. It is a Gwyn Masterclass. Let's scroll down and take a look at the stat sheet. Oh, Jesus fucking model. <laughs> can somebody help this guy? Sam, apparently I want to start with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, apparently he doesn't need it. But we all know eventually he's going to need it. Sam, this, you go ahead. This is Rookie of the Year series. Like, through and through. Like, uh, we could talk about New York. We could talk about his team. This is Rookie of the Year series for Gwen. This kid did every possible thing today to win his team. 12-2, and two, Game 5, three-piece to close, 2K right, damage to insane. break the this kill record. Bro. This is LeBron-esque. Like, LeBron. this is this is some takeover <laughs> shit that I TJ have Halley spawn in? Holy almost shit. never seen. Like, <laughs> this is fucking wicked behavior out of Gwen. Rookie did, of the Year. He, TJ did have the second most damage. I will say that. He was doing his thing. I think this is... I, you think this is wicked behavior out of Grit Gwen. This is wicked behavior out of New York subliners. What the hell we I look, doing, he kind of co-signed that as well, Yeah, Chris. they got 1v4 for the, sure. What the no, hell they definitely we doing? Got 1v, I don't know. They got, they got now, for sure. correct me if I'm wrong, but hasn't Killhorn been a serious problem with the New York subletters? I feel like it's been a topic of discussion on the show before. Wait, we, no, 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 no. It. it hasn't been that problem. They they used to have a couple series, you know, in the first stage, like leading up until like now where like 
they were not like getting a lot of kills and still managing yeah, to, they were to be competitive team for a little bit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I kind of I, I met more Chris like recently. Like I like, mentioned, it's it. been recent, I, I, yeah. I actually mentioned it in their first match at this stage. I was like, it seemed like they're really focusing on slaying a lot in this uh, in their last series, and I feel like they're maybe trying to to get way more kills now because I feel like they had a slaying issue when they were playing the top four teams, and now I feel like. They're just kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum where at least in this series they're getting kills but they're failing to transition that into like you know actual reporting kills mm -hmm. yeah i mean definitely when you look at the damage department too i mean they're all definitely shooting for sure and that, that's what we knew what was going to happen when they made the change with priesta and sib right in the beginning of the year i felt like we all knew yeah dante he's he's that type of player he likes to get kills he was just very different to p dog i feel like when it came to like play style and stuff so it's interesting now to see New York having problems where they're losing series while outslaying the other team. Um, and I don't know if you guys think the roster change has anything to play into that or if you think they just need more time with Dante. But, Pat, what do you think here? If um, he didn't slay. I just, I just, yeah, I'm here. I just think it's a different game. Um, you know, I mean, I, 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 necessarily, I don't necessarily think, like, the Priesta for Dante thing is, has changed this team fundamentally uh, that much to where they're just kill whores now. I just feel like... Again, it kind of goes back to how we were talking about the maps don't really um, allow Hydra and Kiz to play the same way either. It's right. It's very like lane based where as a sub, you don't just get to run around freely all the time. Um, and on top of that, I, I just I don't I just don't think they're as good at this game as they was at, at, were at the last game. Um, I think Paco, you know, the, Paco's was insane at the last game. Like yeah, hard he was, he was he was like clear best player in the game, yeah, and, and Kiz, right? Kiz was like clear best second sub. So it's like I just think yeah. they're not as good individually at this game, and that obviously is going to take a big hit to their teamwork. I also saw I think it was Mama Priesta, like her Twitter account tweet, like uh, something about like you dropped a diamond to play with rocks or something. Yeah, I, I saw that was it. Crazy. I, I did see that. I thought beef. that was interesting. Have you got some mom beef? Uh, I think it was Mama Priesta. She said she did say something about dropping a diamond for a rock or something. Pretty much summing it up like that. We got to give Mama Sib twenty four hours now to respond. I, I I will say that like the stats do look insane, but this really came down to the searches. New York were um, clear cut one of the best S and D teams in the top four, if not the best S and D team in the top four last stage, and um, they lost two of them to Ravens, who are traditionally a team that struggles in search. So. Big ups to Ravens on obviously getting better at search and obviously Gwyn had a amazing series, but like objectively just looking at the maps that like they got, like Rio is a slay heavy map, so and they they won that. They're gonna get a lot of kills in sub base. Granted, they lost a close game. That's a map where you kind of stat pad a lot because there's a lot of hills on that map that are damn near unbreakable. So like if the other team is like feeding you, you're gonna look like you're getting a fuck ton of kills, and then they can rotate to another hill and then like potentially hold it. So like it might look like they got a lot, like they were kill whoring, but in reality, at least when it comes to the, like sub base, mm -hmm. they probably weren't to that much of a degree. And then uh, maybe the high rise is where you can really make that argument that they were kill whoring. Like, yeah, Chris, that is also not like, get it really... twisted. Chris, yeah. watch your mic, by the way. There's some back no background noise coming in. Uh, uh, your fan it's probably... or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll fix that shit, Chris. All good. If Gwyn doesn't <laughs> do that, though, like, <laughs> this series is probably clear cut New York. That was an insane takeover. Bro, we like, won't be for them. Yeah, he he actually I've never seen it before. He won v he won for him a team like that was that was insane. Like I, it, even if he has a one point oh, they lose in my opinion. Like yeah, that was that was an insane takeover. I mean, on the other side, besides for like the kill department, I mean, is there anything else in New York's game that you think that we should be pointing out and talking about? Because I definitely think when you look at a team like New York Subliners, they shouldn't be losing to a, a team like Carolina, especially to one guy. Um, at least that's what it seemed like. I mean, is there anything that you guys can pinpoint that you think New York just really needs to work on, or do you think it's just a lot of little things that are just going wrong and they just need to clean up some mistakes in game? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, they just can't lose a search. My bad. Go ahead, Sam, because you, you need to talk. <laughs> go ahead, Jesus Sam. Christ. After yesterday, um, go ahead. Nah, they're, I think they're 0-5, 0-4 in their last couple S&Ds. Um, they're on a big losing streak, and then kind of it's a smaller thing, but in the vetoes, they double vetoed six-star. So I think they're, which was a similar trend with the Rio ad. Um, I think they're slow to like pick up maps, and to double down on that point, um, I think we, it was, I think it was Ant last night or JP in the clip, but he said basically like they're trying to play too perfectly. I think it was Ant yesterday. Um, uh, but he, he said they were like that. every time that. that they play these guys, it's like they're trying to play almost too perfectly, and they're trying to like 
capitalize on everything. So it's forcing them to play slower and not like take the space that the the kills that they're getting uh, allows. And I think that I think the end of the game, Tom, um, the clip you actually pulled up was a perfect time stamp. Mm -hmm. There's a play that Dante makes when he goes to basically break the end of the game, like the, the P2. And he doesn't move for like 15, 20 seconds with like three dead. They know where the last guy is, um, which I think was the reason they ended up losing the game. Obviously, there were other things that happened, but that was basically the pivotal moment at the very end. Where is this, Sam? Um, at the very end, the last P2? The last P2 on the rotation. They get three kills on the P1. Dante stays on God AC. Uh, yeah, they know the last it. guy's going to be a new, it. just process of elimination. And he doesn't end up moving until basically the hill pops. Um, yeah. So that's Damn like... nose ball. <laughs> I think that's basically like no the ball. issue with... Like, this is one play, but I think this is kind of a good summary of what's going on with New York's respawn Agreed. right now. Agreed. Bro, we've talked about this so much on the show with teams not making use of their kills. Like, they're getting kills that they don't push out what they need to push out. And it's all you're doing is just making your job a lot more harder on yourself. Because you're just going to have to get more waves. You're just going to have to get more kills. It, it, little things like that, Sam, is so big. Because Dante just taking, just hitting forward just sprinting in a straight line with three dead completely changes his game the ending of his yeah. game he, he ends up playing here and just kind of fucks up everything after this like the timings are just completely off now after they get all the kills because they know yeah. this last guy's a new like you're playing a fucking cdl player like the kid's a new rotating yeah, yeah. No, com completely agree what were you gonna say chris i don't even remember anymore uh, <laughs> sound like you were about to say something i don't even remember great, anymore bro fuck <laughs> no you're good honestly you probably covered it if i had to be honest so take it Go ahead, <laughs> run with it. No, no, no. I want to bring it up. Uh, uh, go to the S and D here. The real search. There was obviously a few rounds here at the end. It was a tied game. It was four four, going into it. Uh, I want to take a look at this round. This setup here from the New York Subliners. I didn't really like this setup for New York. I was actually watching this um, right before I left, and I didn't like the setup here. I, I felt like Dante, the way he was playing this, he was just asking to get blooded here. I feel. Just playing like this car in the back of his spawn, and he's even letting off shots. So you can just see how Carolina just takes advantage of it and just takes him out. Like, if Dante's going to play pinch, I just want him to be closer to his team. That way, if he's if he, if he he does see people on the pinch, people can he can stay alive and people can turn around and help him. Like, I felt like the mm -hmm. position he played, he kind of fucked himself here. And as soon as he dies here, now if you're New York and you're on the bomb, you're fighting a guy front, Dante just died by two, three guys pushing him on the pinch. You're losing full if you're the New York subliners in this situation in 3v4. Like, you're just getting pinched. You don't know what to, what to do here. What would you guys have done in, in this offensive situation? Did you like the way Dante was playing this year, or do you think he could have done something differently here watching the pinch? Um, I think he's just playing for, like, to catch somebody slipping, like, just, like, trying to get through. They just don't check anything. But um, Ravens were being very meticulous on how they, like, approach this flank, so good on them. But um, I personally think this bomb site is so hard to hold when you do not have man advantage that like you almost have to play tight or just flood a side whenever you take the site because as you can see they ravens are probably that. gonna have they're gonna have an true. easy time like you know picking it apart and the reason why it's so hard tom is because this boxes right like having like one player play it is like just impossible like you have to almost like double boxes on every single one of your setups when you're like holding a post plant setup so when you have three players on the map, you're just leaving so much open because of how important boxes is that you need to like stack it almost every time. Right, right, right. I, I mean, don't box. Hate the way Dante was playing it, to be honest. You, don't, you like I, this? I Sam? Think he, you didn't like, think it was that I bad? I think the spot you could nitpick, but he was on a five late playing the pinch, and he actually like we we obviously skipped the majority of this map. He was doing a fucking great job play, late playing pinch for the majority oh, of this map. He played great this map. He was frying this. Yeah, yeah. He, he he was picking up late pinches super well and like taking time is really really well. So, um. The only thing I could nitpick on the play was just, like, how he actually decided oh, to Oh, we actually have Dante fight. in here. Oh, let's go. Yeah, he said he wants to drag. I don't see him. Do you guys see him in here? I don't see you him. Want, in wait, just drag the man in. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even see him. Uh, I don't even see know. this guy. I don't see him in here. <laughs> he's he's in the guy's incognito, I guess. I, I mean, know. he's in the chat. So people are saying he's in the chat in looking for a drag. He might be in court. Dante, we're in the team speak. You got the team speak, bro. We're in the team speak every day. Yeah, he's in court. So if you want to join up, Dante, you're more than welcome to, bro. We'd love to have you. Uh, but go ahead, Sam. Was were you talking? Who's That's talking? pretty much it. I think I, I think like in a four four one off a streak, you just gotta play closer to your team. I don't mind like how he's like. The only issue is like where he took the gunfight. If he was like backed up by P two, that's all I was saying, Sam. Just his yeah. positioning. I just felt like on a five spree, one, one off a streak. Yeah, I just thought yeah. maybe there was a better place he could have played there. I mean, he he definitely had a great map though. Hello. Is that you? What's up, Dante? Uh, oh, I was gonna drag you. Dante, what's going Dante, on? Dante, did you like I just this, explain this, my this thought play process here? Yeah, what was your thought process here? Yeah, of course. So I'll pull it back up. If you uh, go back to the first round, we go yep. A here as well. And I played.
play the pinch close, right? So obviously, if we go A again, they're going to expect me to play, be playing tight to my teammates. Mm -hmm. So we go A for a second time, and I'm on one-off streaks. So all I need to get is one kill, right? Yeah. And I'm going to lurk. So my my objective there was to get uh, play the right, slow, play for some info, and then start lurking on the right and give my teams some info as well. Yeah, but so obviously, I, I could have chose a better spot, yes. But I think... I just, if you look at it, Clay runs by, like, I fucking miss, like, four or five bullets. If I kill him, I probably have a better chance to finesse to stay alive. And I also get a streak. So, but I miss my bullets, and I put it not as a good spot. I mean, uh, could also be hindsight as well, because they just mm -hmm. double hit Khan last time. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's just, I don't know. Like, yeah, I just took a gamble to get one kill and to get a streak, and... Yeah. Ultimately, the, I the, the, the thought off, process so. makes sense if you played tight the first round and, yeah. and it worked and you were expecting you were trying to adapt and like kind of yeah. catch them slipping for the streak. So that that makes sense. I would have changed the spot though, Dante. I think that spot yeah, 100%. is shit. Just, yeah, 100%. 100%. I, I think that spot is dog shit. The other day when you're playing a competitive match, sometimes you just like gamble like your spots. There are objectively better things you could have done. Like you could have argued that somebody else could have picked I mean, the pitch and they could have helped you get like a trade. Clay. I also could have saw Clay didn't shoot and just looked at him and lay down. They would have ran out the door. I would have got a free two piece. Yeah, you could also say yeah. that too. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, it's just a gamble, and you you got to take a risk. And if you know if you don't capitalize, then I mean, that's just. And then uh, then you guys end up losing the next two, if I remember correctly, right? You guys end up losing this second round. Dante, walk us through this last round, this tenth round. What happened here? How did how did this fall apart? What was the play call? Uh, and how did this kind of fall apart here? Can you put up on the big screen? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, pull it up yeah. right now. I'm actually gonna go back to the beginning around. They kind of like they didn't know what to do initially off the uh, off the rip, like Carolina. Okay, Bulldog actually got picked, pushed up, and got found a kill and got blooded early. Um, in this situation here, I think you guys know that they're kind of playing A here. This is where Clay starts to go for this late route. I actually really like the play from Clay here. I like that he took like a late route play here. He, I, yeah, this Bulldog is what I would have done if. Yeah, like playing on an island. I feel like when yeah. you're an island player, Dante, that's what you do, right? Like you wait yep. for opportunities like this to take those routes um, and try and make a play. But what happened here, Dante? What was the play call, and why do you think it went wrong here? Um, I think it was just a, a lack of communication issue and not being on the same page. I mean, I mean that's unacceptable. So mm -hmm. a it's lack just, of it's really It's really just as simple as that. Like, it's a lot of... What should have been comped here? What should have been comped here, in your, in your opinion? I mean... Seven and five should be communicating together. I mean, mm -hmm. we know the left is completely open. This play that he's making is a play that is very, very common. So, first off, we should talk about how to retake. I mean, which we didn't in this situation, which left the gap open for play to hit, and which he did, and he got rewarded for it. So, I mean, that in itself, I mean, it speaks for itself. So, yeah, I wouldn't say too much about it, but it's just not, I mean, it, I think it, it stems even before this. I mean, the first round we got two before our. They, they 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 fucking team killed. We have mm -hmm. full full side control with the bomb down thirty seconds. I mean we should never. Yeah. Is that the round Clay was on the vending? Is that uh, the round? I'm not sure. When he got the two piece with the pistol and whoever was I think it was Caesar on the the Eskies. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. The, that round was insane too. Yeah, that was. You guys remember yeah. what round it was? If it was, it was the first round, we got two before. By the it's way, the first round. First yeah, let's round. go take a look at it. If I if I had my handy dandy notebook today, it'd be easy. But I had some problems today. Sam, any any anything else on that last play there, that last round, or anything else to add there? No, I mean, Dante kind of summed up the issue. It's good work, Dante. It's good work from you, Dante. You're so wise and smart. Let's take a look Striping here see what's source. going on here on Rio. This is the first round that you guys were talking about. This was the 2v4. Um, how the hell did you guys lose this, Dante? Yeah, we got to talk about this. This is like, this yeah, is insane. Did, we got the info. Bruce is playing for checkouts. We know it's double pitch. <laughs> Bruce is playing for checkouts. Actually, oh, no, I think we were missing number two. I'm playing for <laughs> we were, I knew number four was there, but we were missing number two. <laughs> but regardless regardless of that, I mean, we should still Oh, be Bruce is holding late pinch right now. Take sure. him some space yeah, somewhere. I'm, I'm trying to lay figure down out using, the That's not even like mm. Using some process of elimination, and we didn't do that. So, I mean, unacceptable yeah. as well. I'm surprised Paco didn't pop up there to try and go for a trade. But I'm going to be honest as well, though. No Kismich, trades. Kismich should never be playing on that. Like, that is just a terrible spot. Like, yeah, he yeah, can literally... He, I agree, sip, too. He's in a if you sit behind the white van, you just... If you back up to the wall, you can see over the armored car, and if you just... And then you can also play, like, the heavy yeah, and look at the, the alley. I mean, they stunned Nate of the white van, though. So, like, they were playing for him to be on it. So he would have been, like, probably yeah, dead regardless. He, yeah, maybe if he didn't have flak, like, he would have died in one. But, like, he would have... Like, even if he got naded, like, he probably has he enough has information. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for I don't seven think... and eight to help him. He, granted, he could have played a better spot, but I also think 
the spot wasn't the issue because we're in a man advantage with the bomb down. As long as we get the trade, I think that's all that matters. I think, I think just knows, not like, being in a shuttle position is just the main thing. I mean, Caesar push. I mean, you can see seven. Caesar's literally pushing out their sides, and he could see that there's nothing retaking their sides. So after a while, he's got to be like, "There's nothing." There's side, pop those boxes, 100%. and then he could just literally turn around and look down the ramp, and then he'll literally catch Gwen literally flying like his. Yeah, that's why I look at it. And then that comes down to what communication? Yeah. They're getting all the info. Like yeah. Paco's pushed out boxes. I mean, and communication and pushed out their side. Or I would say I would say yeah. comms, but also just from Caesar just being a little more active. You know, like just kind of like bounce. He can he could check the back, look at front, check the back, look at front. Like just be a little bit more active there, so he could kind of maybe help Bulldog a little bit more. But Bulldog was pushed out here. I don't like the spot either from from Kismet. Five it was Kismet could have also like like I'm just nit nitpicking here, but like objectively he could even just got top orange. Like if he just sat on the balcony, even though he has a sub, I'm pretty sure. If he just goes top orange, he just plays the spot the entire side of the map. If he sees anybody, he can drop down and then get help from his teammates. Like, yeah, there's plenty of things they could have done. I just personally just there's way more angles he could have watched from two different spots, and he just yeah. chose an angle that isolated him and got him killed. So rewind it a little bit. Hey, you want to go back? Uh, yeah, I can rewind. Yeah, when I when I first got the kill. Yeah, I right, rewind it for you real, real quick. Uh, go all the way back. This is where I first you... got the kill on the pinch, and then a uh, fellow was running up mid to get to his teammate. Yeah, here it is. And you also have to think about it from in a clutch perspective too. Like, if I'm if I'm in the game, you have to think about okay, like what's the best percent chance? Of, what's the win condition of the other team actually giving themselves the best chance to win the round? Mm -hmm. So, right. So they team kill. They, they double pinch. I get one. We're missing number two. We don't know where number two is. He could still be their side. He could still be playing. You know, like a, for a late garage pinch, but if you think about the win condition, the only chance they have to actually salvage around is if two and number four work together. That's the only only chance they have. Thirty seconds with the bomb down and three people alive, and we have full bomb control. That's the only chance. So, if I see someone on the pinch, I mean, I'm doubling over there at least, expecting two of them to be there. You know what I mean? And even if not, then I mean, we have everything else cut. So I mean, yeah, you know. So I think the it's bomb just... looks like it was pretty stretched too. You could have just like played to live and had the guy box to spot the bomb. Oh no, that's just not you. But I'm saying yeah, I mean, in general, we, we, there's we, a lot you could have done. We thought that we honest. had a crossfire and we didn't. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can't really. It's it's if you operate on assumptions in any game mode in any time of COD, I mean that's just not the. So not you the guys, uh, you guys were able to win the next two Dante, and then it falls short in the last map. You guys end up going down six one here in the last map. You guys also get one v three for the loss. I know Skies did stop shooting, so it was a little drags, but. What do you think happened here in the Karachi S and D? From your eyes, do you think it, do you think Carolina was more prepared? Were they blind countering you guys? Were you guys making mistakes? I mean, what do you I think? I think it, it came was just us, to? to be honest. I think it was you guys. Hundred percent. I think we gave Gwen a legacy series. You didn't have to work for it at all, yeah. in my opinion. You definitely gave him a legacy series. That's for and sure. it was a good one. It was a that good was, one. It was a great one. <laughs> yeah, an absolute good one. It was actually fantastic at that. But yeah, I mean, anybody. I mean, this uh, is what happens. This is what happens when you. Anybody on the floor have any questions for Dante on the series? Um, I mean, you guys lost two S and Ds to a team that um obviously has struggled. They've improved in S and D for sure. Obviously, they beat you guys and they have look they look pretty decent at the major. Um, would you guys say that your S and D has like regressed or is like there's something like like missing or like what what is it that's uh you know making you guys lose these searches? Obviously, I think you said um lack of communication sometimes. Like, what what do you think um it is and you know, how can you uh, fix it, I guess? Hmm. Dante? Uh, I think, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just go back to the same thing. Thing. I just, I thought I he blacked out. out. No, no, I was, I was listening. I, just, I think it just goes back to the same thing. It's just, it's unacceptable. It's just at the, at the end of the day, it's unacceptable. I mean, how we played, I mean, we got, I mean, we're losing to Carolina. I mean, that's not a proper showing of how we are, actually, as a yeah. team, but, I mean... I think to answer your question, communicate more. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the answer yeah, yeah. question. Just talk more. And, and, and I mean, I and when I used said to play, done, but yeah, it's something you have to do. I was just so. gonna say that when I when I used to play, I I struggled with that sometimes. Like I would take a route or, or do something, and like being in the midst of things, I wouldn't calm what I'm doing, and I wouldn't small talk, and it would fuck everybody else over. And the one thing you have mm -hmm. to do when when you're in those situations is you have to make communicating like a tendency. You have to make that a habit. And if you don't have that. In your in your locker room, if you if you don't have that habit of talking while you're shooting and while you're playing, you have yeah. to focus on it. And yeah. you might get shit on for the first two three days, constantly trying to talk and yap everything you're doing because you're not focused on the game and you're just focusing on talking to your team. But after like three four days, after like a week, a couple weeks, you start to do it naturally. Yeah, and it, it starts you coming. Be conscious about it. Yeah, you, yeah even exactly. in a hard point too. I mean, you you were uh, in a hard point. It shows as well. I mean, you guys yeah. watch. 
I mean, major major two, I mean, versus Optic. I mean, we outside them by like almost 30 and still lost. We should have 100 point clubbed them on Invasion. I think that, I mean, we're just nothing we can do besides work on it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it's something actively we're trying to work on and trying to fix, but. I want to ask you a question because this is just something from that from that two v two v three or two v four whatever the hell when you were dead you were spectating obviously so what were the comms like in that were they quiet because I feel like watching it from the um, like caster POV it's it one of those like one v threes where everyone just like said they had something and then like dead silent until like the engagement happened is that kind of what what the commu what the comms sounded like or uh, yeah they were definitely kind of dry I said that there was one guy pinching and we're missing number two we don't know where he's at and I said to get some info but we didn't really do anything with it so yeah. Um, we thought we had a, we thought we had a crossfire, so we thought she was sweet, and it wasn't. Yeah, that's honestly like something that even like whenever I would play, I would notice a lot would happen, <laughs> even like on some teams that I played on. Um, there's times where you feel like you have a guaranteed situation or a guaranteed setup where you kind of lack in the communication aspect. Everyone's just like, I got this, I got this, and then like, it's like I mean, dead you just, op just operating on assumptions. You just assume yeah, someone exactly. has this for you, or you have this, for, or someone else thinks that someone has this, just based off their mini map. And in reality, it's completely different. Yeah, where it's like, oh, you have this side for me, perfect. But then like you, yeah. you'll die from that side. And you'd be like, wait, I thought you had it. I'm like, no, I was playing this off angle where you could have got shot. Like, why didn't you tell me? Like, you know what I mean? Like that, yeah. that, that seems like that's probably something that you guys are struggling with right now, where you need to small talk more in those clutch scenarios, even though you feel like they're guaranteed. <laughs> Yeah, Pat, you have any final thoughts on the New York Carolina series or any questions? I'm kind of just curious on, like, what your camp's vibe is as a whole. Like, what are you guys chalking this up to? Is it, like, not that big of a deal? It's just one of those one losses? Because, I mean, Carolina does suck, regardless <laughs> of Gwyn having an insane takeover series. I think we just, I mean, we definitely chalked it up just for fucking, just got to block, block that shit out and hit the drawing board and keep improving. That's That's it, really. Yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like that's the only mindset you could have is look at your mistakes, try and fix them, and focus on the next one, right? Like, yeah, you but really other, than that, other, than that. other than that, the, I mean, the vibes are uh, fantastic. I mean, we know how good we are individually and how good we can be, so, like, that's that's just the main thing that keeps you going, really. Like, we know that how good we can be and what our ceiling is and what our potential is as a team, so we're, we're going to be working hard every day to achieve that. Yeah, for and sure. my last question, my last question would be, um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure if you've answered this other places, but what do you think about the uh, the kill whoring allegations as a uh, whole I against think... your team? We've talked about like other teams mentioning yeah. it. Obviously, we've mentioned it on the show in certain games. Like, what what are your thoughts on that? I definitely think there's some truth to that, but I also think um, it, what I heard the other day was that we play too structured. I don't think we play structured enough, in my opinion. So you're talking about what Ant said, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think we try okay, to play too structured because where my questions came from. You can, how he you said can it. go watch even our series versus them back, and we got insta broke like three times. Insta broke like three times, and especially on maps like this, you're gonna have to kill them. You have to kill the other team twice just to even get the hill again. So we're gonna isolate teams every single time if we're getting insta broke, and that's just the reality of it. So I think that's it. It's also we're not doing. We're not sometimes we're not being efficient with the kills, including myself as well. And it's also not being able to hold a setup, and you have to make sure yeah. everyone's shot twice as harder. So yeah, I, I even brought that up. Sometimes it's map dependent in your series. Like you'll look at the stats of a series and be like, "Wow, these guys are kill whoring," but then you'll see like a sub base, or you'll see like these uh, these other maps where you get a lot of kills just because the other team's attempting to break impossible hills. So they're yeah. just feeding you, and then like they go and hold the sixty, and like they you didn't make that many attempts, so you don't feed them as many kills. And it's like, oh, you outslayed, but in reality, it's like you they just fed you. Yeah, and the kills are supposed 100%. to get. Hundred yeah. percent. And uh, I, granted, some some teams don't think it's good practice, which I agree. I mean, I, I don't blame them, but I mean, it's, it's nothing we. It's not like we're doing it on purpose or anything. You know, we're we're trying to be as efficient as we can and still trying to work on our weaknesses and stuff. So. Yeah. Well, Dante, I think, I think Sam Loki brought it up earlier. I think like Loki, Dante, you guys just try to play the game too perfect because, like Sam brought it up, but like the five ten percent of the time where the other team will spawn out and. Like it happens in the VOD. Like how the fuck did they spawn in the back? And then I'm the telling you, the time the exact back is like, I'm telling you it's the exact opposite. Hey, you don't think it's, it's that? I'm From our perspective, you, it looks like bro, it's that. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's the exact opposite. <laughs> if, <laughs> it, if it was that, I'd be fucking, fucking screaming with joy. Because I have four like, so fucking long, I, my, <laughs> four, Three people on my team just want champs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, hey, I'm, I'm honestly glad that it, like, this is like our flaw instead of it being like, 
okay, we can use teamwork and our teamwork is phenomenal, but we can't get a fucking kill. So we play phase, they just shit on us over and over and over and over and over. But we have good teamwork. I'd rather, I'd rather fucking shit on phase, I'll slam every time, but can't fucking hold a setup or we can't fucking rotate properly or we can't play off each other properly. I'd rather have that problem than the other it's way around. It's easier to fix. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's, just, that's, that's my two cents on it, me personally. Yeah. Well, Dante, I appreciate you hopping on and talking about your series, answering some questions. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one, but you're more than welcome to stick with us yeah, if you want to stay with us uh, and hang out. But I do appreciate you hopping in and, and talking. Unless anybody else has anything to say um, to Dante? No, uh, not really. Going once, going twice. All right, perfect. Let's move on. Uh, before we move on to the next series, guys, today's uh, episode is sponsored by Steel Series. FaZe and Steel Series join forces to make the ultimate and best looking peripheral collab in gaming. Check out the FaZe edition of Nova 7 wireless headset, Apex 9 mini keyboard, the Aerox 3 wireless mouse, and the QCK double XL heavy mouse pad, only available at Best Buy, in store, and online. Command Steel Series in the chat. Huge shout out to Steel Series. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure working with them, they make great products. Uh, and, and we want to give a huge shout out to them. So shout out to uh, to Steel Series. Come in, Steel Series in the chat if you guys are interested in that stuff. Uh, I also got poked by Steel Series manager in the team speak phase up. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's Selim, aka MC. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> this guy MC is insane. Uh, let's move on to the next series of the day. We have the Optic Texas going up against Seattle Surge. Let's tune in. Let's switch on over. This was a 3-0 in favor of Optic. Optic do get the 3-0 in control to close it out. Map 2 was close. Same with the map 1. Uh, very back and forth. We'll take a look here at the stat sheet. Oh, Jesus fucking model. <laughs> Seattle's not shooting back. God damn it, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to get oh, to Bruce. And sake, I got a lot of questions for Bruce and, and stuff like talk that in the me, series. Talk, talk to but me. Bruce, we'll get to you. Let's talk about Seattle first. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get to Bruce and we'll get to Optic. Let's start with Seattle. These guys aren't shooting back. Sam, we'll go to you. What's going on? What happened to Seattle today, Sam? They didn't even shoot back today. Or was Optic just too much? Was uh, Brucey too much for them on his birthday? I'm going to be honest. The, the They lost their bread and butter, S&D. Uh, they are a legitimate... I, I am being so genuine. I could not be any more genuine what I'm about to say. They are a legitimate game three buy. Like, these guys have zero fucking clue. Bro, they didn't go B on a defense control of Karachi. They didn't go B. They didn't even try. They didn't even attempt it. Optic walked out of red onto That's the crazy. B point without a gunfight. That's the screenshot that you saw on Reddit before the stream. They walked out and hot the point. Yeah, um, that was so bad, by the way. Oh, that was pretty insane. The Carry hard on. point <laughs> was pretty competitive. Um, I think it was more Optic trolling because they rotated and got insta-broke for the entire first rotation. Um, I think that was pretty much the reason that the game was close. They couldn't hold uh, on the first row. The S&D was insane. Uh, I don't know if we have clips or not, but I got plenty of questions for Brandon. Uh, and then, yeah, game three, we could have just skipped, in all honesty. Yeah, this is a break-off, by the way. What the, the fuck see the one are tick? they doing? Do we see the one tick? That means Optic went A, got a, got a tick, spawned B, and got to the point without a gunfight. Bro, I've been teaching the ponies to fucking rotate left off spawn since day one. What are these guys Le doing? Seattle is a legitimate game three buy. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's insane. Um, I will say ahead, that ahead. whenever we were talking about this match, I was like, the only way that this uh, series somehow gets close or like Seattle maybe pulls off an upset is if uh, they're just good at six star and they, they happen to play it in the series. They did play it first map. They looked pretty good on it. They ultimately still lost because I think Texas is favoring that map. They've played it now, I think, twice. Um, so, yeah, that's good for their map pool. I was expecting them to, to, to try to get that map in their pool um, with, the, with, the, with the recent map changes. But, I mean... Seattle, yeah, what you were saying, like, they lost their Search and Destroy, and that is the only game mode that it's they've over. been competitive in, and then the series is basically over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. I mean, would you say that maybe with O4, some, I saw people saying online that they felt like they got better with the roster change. Did you feel like they got better? I feel like they haven't really moved the needle at all, to be honest I don't think they addressed you. any issues of their previous roster. They were already good at Search, and they brought in a Search and they brought in a search kid. This is no knock to 4 I'm not saying he's a terrible player or anything, but like they, they didn't address any of the core issues with their roster prior to the change. They had zero respawn prowess. They had no system. They had no kills. And they added a strong suit that they are... They added to their strong suit. It didn't they fix anything. They were shit anything. before, and they're shit exactly. now, Tom. Uh, Jesus. I Pat, I was so going to actually... put, Pat. I was going to ask you, Pat, I mean, is, is there anything that you have to add to this Seattle... Uh, not master class today. <laughs> Seattle fucking the getting slammed. Class. This, this disaster class. This disaster from today. What do you think, uh, Pat? I mean, it, it's a full rebuild, Tom. It's just a full rebuild. The season's over. The season's over. 
Um, I don't think there's even a fix they could do to improve and make champs last minute. I just think this team sucks. They're going to suck. Um, and, and yeah, they're not even in, the, like, the upset potential category anymore. They're in, like, the – they got bottom four on lock. Um, so, for me, I'm just expecting a, a bad season the rest <laughs> of the year and then a blow up in the off season, hopefully, when we get there. Yeah. Uh, Duarte, you got anything else to add to the Seattle yeah. camp? Yeah, I mean, basically what Pat said, I mean, I, I like, I don't even think they could get anyone. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, the, the way this team is, like, put together and, like, just how, like, mediocre they are at pretty much every game mode. Like, yeah, 04 took his spot. Obviously, he's pretty new to the scene in terms of, like, uh, even with challengers. So he took his shot over there to, to, to make it into the pro league and try to make a name for himself. But, like, if they were to reach out to other, like, challenger players, bro, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't even look their way. Like, this is this is probably the worst put together roster um, from top to bottom, and that's saying something considering LAG still exists and those guys have been at least putrid online, but, like, Seattle just has zero, like, positive things in terms of their camp in in, in anything. It's mm -hmm. – I don't want to be a doomer, and uh, nah, I'm not trying to touch on the players, but, like, the roster – the Seattle series, bro. Yeah, it's starting to get really bad. Uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, let's move on. Brucey, I wanted to ask you some questions, one of them being on the server, because I saw Apuza tweeting out, uh, about it. He didn't tweet out any excuses or anything. He, he said they lost fair and square or anything but like that. But, um, Bruce, that, were you guys dealing with any lag issues during the game today with the server? Uh, I think that was only Abuza because we saw him lick a wall, but at first we thought he was just, like, <laughs> just trolling, but it turns out he was lagging. So hopefully that's they get that situation figured out. But uh, That is crazy. Yeah, I, The server was ass. That, that does suck. I mean – Seattle is playing from Vancouver, which I think they're only hurting themselves by doing that. I think them playing from Vancouver is just dumb as hell. You guys agree yeah. with that? Yeah, it's the worst yeah, place 100%. in the U.S. to play Call of Duty from. Yeah, I just I don't know why they want to try. In the US I mean, you could make the argument that they don't do well on land either, but I probably think their practice is so fucking abysmal that they don't even know how to improve because they probably just can't get kills. Like wait, playing wait, on wait. sixty-five thing, ping every wait, day. Why is Kyler? I, I heard Kyler's in Arlington, but the other two aren't. Why did Kyler fly from Vancouver, but the other two stayed, but then 04 is still where the fuck he's at? I'm pretty sure he has a place down here. Yeah, he probably has a place down here. Yeah, he probably has a place down here. Kyler is originally oh, from Texas, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Or he lived in Texas for like a long... Obviously, he was on fucking Empire, but he's been here for a long time. These so guys yeah. could be on the server and then still suck, bro. Damn. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, Sorry. No, and then uh, over on the other side, I mean, Bruce, it looked uh, fairly comfortable for you guys. It did get a little close in the maps one and two, but uh, what was the mindset or what was the mindset after, like, the maps one and two? It was close maps, but you guys pulled out. I mean, well, was there something that you felt you guys were making mistakes and why the maps were so close, or do you feel like uh, it was just a grueler matchup? It's just, it's just how six-star plays out. You yeah, know? Um. I mean, first map, they came out hot, and then I remember we were rotating from P2 to P3, and it was kind of unfortunate because... I don't know. I think they added some like invisible like barrier on the top of uh, P3 six star, but I team dated AG. That was unlucky. So oh, then they shit. were able to. Br that was basically a full sixty if you basically don't troll the first wave and just pre aim the front. But yeah, definitely troll that and then kept them in the game a little bit. But then I feel like that map is just all like as soon as you get the two chain, like I'll call it that. But mm -hmm. you're pretty much just good. I also and feel like my bad. I thought that's you were much it. That's pretty much it. I was going to say, I feel like for just from playing this map more often, like, dude, breaking some of these hills are fucking hard oh, as awesome. hell. And, like, the spawns they are do so it here, sticky. Though. That's why I pulled it up. The Optic breaks yeah. is P1 here. I think P1 is probably the easiest if any of the hills are breakable. Like, every other hill is just a struggle to break. That P3 hill is basically fucking impossible. P4 can get pretty bad if you're spawning on the front end. Um, this pool hill is just... I mean, the pool hill needs to go. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> nah, keep and it on in, top bro. of that, bro, I've been keep watching, in. like, hella clips on Twitter, bro. Every single day, there is an absurd spawn on this map. Like, I don't... I've been I mean, that happens at, on every map, though. Seattle, I mean, if you look at Seattle right here, they they four rotate through middle, and they don't pick their, they don't pick up any of the outskirts of the map. They're just going to get collapsed every single bro, time. Bro, they no? did this on the first P1 rotation, too, and I could not believe it worked. I, feel, I was like, tweaking I feel like, in the watch yeah, party. like, right? Like, I, I think that's just... Brain if bro, the guy in Hill loses a 1v1, that's it. It's over like, with. This whole set is trained. Dude, yeah, they didn't create the, a funnel at all. The first P1 rotation, they actually four stacked P1 and ended up paying. I don't know how the fuck it worked, but this game was only close, like I said, because when we started talking about yeah, the series, bro, I, I think the guy instant broke every rotation for the first rotation. And then Ken popped like a 17 piece on the second P3 Shout to like there. give them a lead. <laughs> That's literally what it was. Ken walked through the front of P3, got like a four or five piece, got a shriek, and then the game kind of ended. And then Ant went fucking crazy, I think, on the second P4.
Yo, can we tip AG's hill time, by the way? Because I've never yeah. seen two minutes in yeah, a single so time in my life. Two and minutes in a hill for AG's tip. Bro, if he's going he's two for 33 in clutches, like, he's got to be soaking. You know I, saw I, mean? he I saw him tweet that. He said it was a birthday present. He was sitting in a hill yeah, for you. Now he's, uh, he's going to be 10 second AG. He's going he's gonna to come back. So. Yeah. And then this is kind of this is kind of where you guys ended up breaking. I mean, if you're Seattle, what's an ideal setup there? If you're Seattle, well, how would you I mean, set up there? I mean, just get one of the get get one of the lanes. Push I mean, something out. I, I would push. I would get control of old. I would play. Should, I would play for those kills play old, old, bro. You should always lay play old, especially on, so on I, here for sure. Unless I'm absolutely faded in that no, assessment, mean, I need, think lay play so, old is god -like. I mean, well, so if they're if they're spawning P two, which is right next to the old hill, it'd be ideal just to get the statue side since it, since it takes them longer to get over there, mm -hmm. right? And the only real like, it's so easy to break from Khan, which is the statue side. Yeah. It's either that or you farm them old and risk flipping them when the new hill pops and then they're spawning behind you, which is not ideal. So, in my opinion, I'd definitely take the statue side so you can control those connectors yeah. and the right side as well. And it takes them the longest to get over there, which is not ideal for the other team. And then I would just have number one just hold the P3 push through that, or that, late that, play old. <clears throat> them being pushed out on both sides here is just not going to bode well. Even if, like, somehow this is successful, they are going to split as soon as this hill pops because of them being pushed out on both sides. Like... So they're setting up. They're setting up, right? They're trying to cover all these exits. But as soon as any kills go down, if their hill was successful, they would have split them anyways. So, mm -hmm. Bruce, how's that MCW feeling on the six star? Are you liking it? Or is that rival Hell still too no. OP? Ain't like uh, listen, shit. the rival's godlike. But after further review, like you know what? Shit. MCW's fine because the rival's buff or the nerf actually was. It actually kind of did some damage to it, Tom. I'm not gonna lie. You're doing I don't damage, too, uh, I remember I last New time York. you played Six Star Two, Bro. not not this series, but the last year you were fucking cooking. I remember. Say, it. Say, I, I, ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. The rival I watched New York play Carolina with eight MCWs on sub base today. Yeah, eight, eight of them. There was eight. Fire. There was eight. We got not a single the, rival in sight. Holger though, right, Sam? Like, yeah, yeah. The Holger's <laughs> yeah, terrible. Okay. Holger's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. So maybe the recoil is a little crazy for sure. Shotzi had a masterclass map one too. Shotzi's been fucking unreal, bro. He's yeah. been crazy. He's. Oh, that guy's I, real, I feel like Bruce. I feel like he's hitting like that Shotzi level that we've, like you know the peak that he can hit. We've seen it before. Like I, I feel like highest peak Ant is probably like what mm. MW19 is like when we see him just really fucking yeah, go MW19 crazy. MW19 like, and then like even Cold War he was Cold like, War. Mid nah, mid late season last year he was insane. Yeah. And and he he's and he's like, yeah. definitely getting on his bullshit. I mean Pat, you're <laughs> one who's been pretty vocal. I mean Shotzi's been playing like a superstar, Pat, from top to bottom. Um, I mean. Tom, I'll be honest with you. I think any one of us, if we spawn in against Seattle right now, we too would look like superstars. You think so? Um, I don't know. About I mean, that. Tom, he's pub stomping. Like he <laughs> no, no skill based matchmaking pub stomping. These guys are just not on his or anyone else's level in the top I four. Hit it verbatim. I've been um, <laughs> I, I just I just yeah I mean again Tom there's there's more for me to see uh, I I go off the top four matchups when I when I kind of like talk about the the stars and superstars even if you know other superstars like Simp is smoking Seattle there's there's no there's no gain there right it's just mm -hmm. there's nothing they're playing to Seattle bro the same. nothing to say um, yeah exactly there's just nothing nothing that that they can do other than smoke those those shit cans so um, I mean but Pat he was doing so, yeah. it against Faze though. You know online, he was. He was doing online. Set online. Uh, <laughs> and, and we've seen that before, Tom. I mean, statistically, we've talked about this. Shotzi, as far as all top four players go, has the biggest fall off currently from online to land. Obviously, they've played, you know, phase um, a few times on land, which is the main contributor to that. But until I see it on land, Tom, on a Sunday against the top four team, I, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to keep the opinion I have right now, which mm -hmm. is that Shotzi is an all-star. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. Uh, I, Sam I do Chris want to know one thing real quick for Bruce before we lose him. Um, Bruce, mm -hmm. in the past, you've had some some thoughts about um, the coach of the Seattle Surge. I remember there was some drama <laughs> when you previously <laughs> coached on yeah. Optic. Yeah. Do you think anything um, from what you experienced on Optic is happening in the Seattle camp? Or, or what do you um, think is going on? I played the fifth time. Or... <laughs> Oh, okay. hey, no worries. Happy birthday, Brucey. Happy birthday. Appreciate it, Pat. Good looks. <laughs> Let's move on. And then we get into try, though, the <laughs> high rise S and D. Um, did you guys get one v four by O four in a high rise S and D, Brucey? Uh, Shots is going yeah, for kind of, fucking kind of, openers for ill cams. Is that what going, he's doing? Right? Let's take I, a look. We'll here. call it a heat check, Tom. We'll let it slide. You know what I mean? We'll we'll call call it it heat. I didn't see it. Going for openers, dog. 
I actually didn't what see this, so let's take a look at it right now and uh, see what's going on here. So, 1v3 situation for 4 What was it, 2v3? Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think it was uh, it's the 1-0 oh, round. it's not this round. Sorry. It's the 1-0 round. I dragged the wrong link. Here it is. It's the 1-0 round here. Boom. Give me one sec. I apologize. Brucey, walk us through it. What happened here, Big Brucey? I was dead, so I don't know. It's never no, my you're fault. Their fault. 3v1, so they got to figure it out. No I don't know. way, that though. Shit. Brucey, you were dead. Brucey, you were watching this unfold, huh? Yeah, unfortunately I was. Here it is. So it's right here. So 04 left by himself. 1v3 situation. He's left with an MCW in hand. Let's see what happens here. It starts with Shotzi. Or it starts with Kenny. And is trying to do some crazy Dude, shit. I'm well, telling you, he's going for TikTok. I think I know what went wrong here. I think he might have been Ant right there going like, a little wrong. You're telling me AG is supposed to win this round now? Like, this can't be AG's fault. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, this is one of the one v. This is the two and thirty. Somehow get managed. Did he? Did he manage to get blame on this round too for the, did, the clutch? I mean, did AG not see him? <laughs> I don't think AG saw. No, him. he definitely saw him right there. He saw him. He saw him. He saw him. He saw him. We saw him. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why Elford just randomly turns around. Why would he like randomly that? turn like that? Bro. That's why. I don't know. I saw a post on Reddit. You said you think people are wearing earpieces, bro, and your coach is feeding them info. That, was a that motherfucker right just here. randomly was like, "Oh, let me wait." Was he to my left? Like, we got covert on, baby. Why nah, are we just that, turning? Yeah, that was a little weird right there. But you get the Saudi Q on. Were there any other rounds, Bruce, that you guys completely threw? Um, that you think that we should take a I can't look remember. at here? I mean, that round was definitely a troll. I mean, that's kind of unacceptable. But any other round, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Right, let's go to the round 11 then. 4-4, four, four, round 11, Bruce, talk to me. What, what was the play call here in the round 11? What what were you guys thinking about? Were, were you favoring a bomb site? Were you guys just yeah, looking yeah, yeah. to get picks? Uh, you know, what, how were you guys thinking? Going well, here we're watching the 11? cross. We were watching the cross. Ken's watching the, I think, the A cross. And then I was kind of watching the bomb cross. And we just kind of played slow, see if they... We're going to get overzealous a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Kyler kind of known for sometimes just making a rogue play. So we wanted to see maybe if there was any birthday scams, you know what I mean, for, uh, <laughs> for the boys. But, yeah. um, just waited for those and then kind of just use our tacks, maybe start clearing out some of the angles on B. And then um, I think somebody called to late go A and then I kind of just like sandwich B kind of like lurked it towards the end and then i don't even know what happened i think ang got one Bro, all literally walked out a and killed him <laughs> that's what happened all right, that's i'll what be happened. honest i've I seen your team on four right windows for the blood and then ant kills kyler on radio and the round's over i've seen Ooh. you guys do this quite a bit a couple times where you guys are like run out onto a and it's worked against a lot of teams surprisingly and i'm not sure why teams just keep letting you guys run out of blue because it's I mean, happened we're multiple on times. times i don't think anything's working haggy except for today so i don't think it's <laughs> it's the only it's, thing that's working is running out of a are you guys on for this map? I didn't even realize well, no, that. That was They're our first one. We're on for. It's a good dub right there. It's a good but dub. But I think we lost every be. single one. Like, maybe not every single one, but at least like three of those four were like around 11s. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, hey, bro, Brucey, this, right. is, this is the easy read 1v2 from you, Bruce. This is the easy Dog, read. The, right smile, the smile after you kill 0-4 had me Because I'm tears. like, why the fuck? He did the one play that was the most predictable after like, I'm 1 HP when he plants a bomb. So I'm like, really? Yeah. That's good reads right this there. You're shaking your head. Scam. That's yeah, a birthday This is a birthday read, too. No, Brezzy hit the birthday scam, bro. Yeah, yeah that was I mean, that's both. <laughs> he did, was you had confidence, bro. It's a typical square. He that's said, good, oh, what shot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, push him. He's one. Oh, shit. Right. But now, yeah, it, look, it looked uh, looked fairly simple for you guys here in the round 11. It seemed like you guys kind of broke them down. I mean, is there anything from the panel here in the round 11 from Seattle that you think they could have done? Because Seattle, they have the defense here. So they probably they're, they're probably gonna watch this one back and try and figure out what went wrong. But I mean, number one is tweaking. Like, bro, his entire team has all the information on the map B side of the map. They have the street covered. They had underground covered, and then he just gives up the left side of A for no reason. Like, yeah, just, and he gets yeah, picked. Run by. And he ends up getting picked. I also like to play Ant. Man, how did Ant get through underground here? He had he the right some... timing when yeah, they he... gave it up. He literally just walked through on the right. Yeah, he, he did find a timing here. That's crazy. Ant, Ant makes a ballsy play here in the round 11. Just decides to push up. Doesn't see anybody. Going to hit that get push that gas pedal down. And 04, he gets picked. And, and Shotzi he makes a good play, bro. I got nervous here. I feel like even right there, him turning his back on windows and st back stairs right there, that was risky. Shotzi making good plays here. Finding little bro. gaps and being a nuisance. Ooh. Watching this map from the optic POV, like you guys, you guys must have been tweaking because you guys just like basically, it's like they weren't even playing. Like you didn't see a single soul on the map until yeah, you were on their anywhere. in their even spawn. We, once we were getting space A, maybe we think maybe they're gonna try to like work a flank through B or underground, but they weren't even moving off that. So I'm like, what the fuck's going <laughs> yeah, they, on? Did they, 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 they lag the out? out? Yeah, like, <laughs> they lag the fuck out in spawn. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, people, people were saying drag Scrappy. I don't see Scrappy guys. I'm gonna be honest. With you. I don't see him. If he's in the team speak, I'll happily drag him. Just make sure he joins the team speak and uh, join. 
joins one of the channels so I can bring him in. Um, but the, Brucey, those two maps are close. You guys win the hard point, you win the search, and then the last map, the the Karachi, you guys made it look easy. Bye. Yeah, um, that was um, honestly that one round. I think Sam brought it up earlier, but the that one defense was kind of insane. The, or like their defense, we just ran on to B. Bro, you, I don't no, think no, we got no, in the no, gunfight. We just you got ran it three and shit. then ran on to B. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, that's <laughs> Without that's a gunfight. It's definitely ideal, Sam. You know what I mean? Why not? Yeah. It's like me. Thought y'all spawned there. The yeah, that, that's actually fucking insane. Scrappy's not a uh, birthday blunt, is he? That's not Scrappy, right? That's Unless... Selium. That's Selium. That's MC, right? I think that's MC. Uh, it's been poking me. I got a stat for you guys. Yeah, I Pat, what's up? I love these ESPN stats, Pat. So the, <laughs> the lowest <laughs> control win percentage ever was Ravens last year at 23%, okay? Mm -hmm. Ever. All time. Current Damn. surge is at fourteen percent. Damn! Is that, is that with Ender? Wait, have they won? That's their, their more than fourteen percent without their franchise this year. Damn! Holy fourteen! They're actually in the so doldrums, bro. They're they're looking at one out of ten series they'll win a control. I mean, I mean they're fucking insane, bro. They're on four and twenty three watch against the top four. If they won, they should have won. Y'all should have let them win the search. So if you three won them, they would have went four and twenty three versus top four map count. Uh, wait, bro, I they're, think they're, they beat us in the control with Ender, every series like, three months ago. Down, down one. Yeah, that's what I said, brother. It's a buy. pretty much a game three buy. That's bad. They're non competitive bad. game three buy every every time. That is insane. I mean, listen, oh, I thought today's shit. was a good series from Optic. They get the three over Seattle. Uh, some clutch moments from them as well. It was a good win from them. Any final thoughts on the Optic Series or any questions for Big Brucey while we have User the birthday boy? Uh, I got one for High Rise in general. Um, yo. Watching. Yo, what's up, Scrap? Bro. Oh, yo, fucking hell, my bad. What's going on? Welcome oh, to the wait, show, Scrap. The fucking moron? Welcome to the flank, Scrappy. Wait, wait, hold yeah, on, one second. Sam's asking a question, Scrap. twisted, Brandon, and I said this on the watch party, and I think I sounded faded then, too. But, like, you guys play High Rise, like, like every round is unlosable. Like, regardless of, like, the man advantage or just, like, what you're deciding to do on the map, you, like, you guys, I think it's more so on, on AG and Ant, but you guys like, actually example, walk like around the, the map. Like, the 3v1 against 04? Yes. Like, every round is unlosable. Or, like, you guys will get a pick across the map, and then, like, randomly AG will die, like, in their pit. Or yeah. you guys will get it. It happened twice. Like, uh, you guys got blood, and then Ant died across the map, like, by himself. Like, it, it seems like you guys are so confident, which is insane to say, that every single thing you do is going to work, that it ends up losing you so many man advantages on high rise. It's actually insane. I honestly, co sign that. I feel like we just underestimate almost like the, the line of sight on high rise. Map, like, bro. They could see you from anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, if you just hop yeah. over a wall on like the propane tree, you pretty much have 85% of the map. I feel like yeah. we just, it's one of those things where maybe, I don't know if we're just maybe thinking that some of the other team is just not expecting it or we just underestimate. I guess other people's. I don't know what it is. It's, just, it's just only it's, on that map. That it's map just sucks. All, it's by the way. it's that just map is off. It's just horrible like a, by my dad. Yeah, it's horrible. Bro, I said it when I was watching you guys play Phase. There's just times where like you have players pushed up on like their side of the map. They'll get like a kill, but like your entire team is nowhere near them. So like you can't like even four get help. Times in that high rise. Today. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying. Like I even said it when we talked. I think it was versus Phase. I'm like, bro, if Shotzi or like Pred or anybody that gets by gets a kill. Somebody just get a line of sight on them, like stare at them, because I guarantee they're going to get ISO'd and a guy's going to go in for the trade. Like it happens every single time just because of how easy it is to ISO people on that map that like you'll probably just farm kills off of your entries. Because like you said, you can you can get 85 percent of the map from your team or for your team if you just hop on a wall or go top heli or something. If, if Ant gets a kill pit, just go onto a fucking high ground and stare at Ant, bro. Somebody's yeah. going to come around the corner and go for that trade like it happens all the time so just you got to do a better job of grouping yeah that was just a general observation for that max you guys play it every series yeah i mean we're not picking it so just mm. <laughs> that map is terrible <laughs> even they explode they haven't they haven't even fixed the explosions yet on that map i don't think they're ever going to fix that shit Bro, which is crazy they're, got a two -piece they're that making chance. they're making updates to the game they're fi they are fixing things they are like you know updating things and changing things you would think they would fix that because i just just they, you know they're all about realism as well, and that's definitely not real when you stand on top of the propane and it doesn't kill you compared to when you're two miles away from it and it fucking blows you up. The, more damage, the further away sense. you are, the more damage it does. Bro, the reflective right. damage, it, it's it's the reflective damage, bro. Like, the damage on your teammates, that shit's what gets you killed. Yeah, nah, agree. But uh, let's keep it pushing. Anybody else got anything? Pat, Chris, any any questions for Bruce or anything left on the series? You guys play again tomorrow, right? Uh, you guys yeah. play again tomorrow, Bruce? Uh, we play, I think we play Vegas tomorrow. I could be wrong, but. Banger, ASIM oh. debut again for the 12th time. Wait, is ASIM on that team? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it, it's an ASIM debut for the fourth time, fifth time. Fuck. Um, 
Yeah, he, he, that, they uh, they made a change, Bruce. They picked up a some uh, for Purge. Wait, I thought that was a rumor. I didn't even know that. Just, that shit just went straight. Yo, through. you and Scrap are yeah. on God the same people. Who am I playing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why Scrap's the fuck did Scrap pull up? We yeah. gotta ask him. Is Scrap, it really Ninja pull Scrappy's up? ripping a papaya before his series, bro. What's Pro going on? Scrappy, you <laughs> ripping yeah. shit over there? What are you ripping over there, Scrap? I'm ripping a pen, bro. I'm chilling. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, I, I will say, yeah. I really enjoyed the show tonight. Did you? Yeah, what? you enjoyed the show tonight, it's Scrap? It's very, it's just everyone's intelligent talking why is about it God. Exactly? Why is like, why did no you No one's cutting each other off. I don't know. I, I miss. Really I kind of. I kind of miss Ben J. I kind of miss him. I got that's, you, Scrap. Is it because of me? But, Good looks, bro. Yeah, no. Brandon series talking about his match, his birthday. Oh, Just kidding. I that, that he doesn't make a fucking difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I've been enjoying. I don't know. It. 04 looked like he was mesmerized by Brandon's birthday in that one. I've been day. enjoying it. I'm glad you've been enjoying it, Scrap. That's. Uh, I'm happy <laughs> that you're enjoying it. And you're having a good time, Scrap. That makes me very happy. Yep, Scrap, we're about to about to hop into to your series. Uh, so, by the way, Scrap, shout that out to thriller, Scrap. Shout out to your Ooh, squad, Scrap. Y'all got me a thousand dollars on a power play today. <laughs> fucking grueler. I appreciate it. Yeah, this yo, was this a guy. Yo, they're fucking sounding, bro. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'm getting sound horn through Teddy, bro. What's going on, Scrap? You guys lose the first map to the Miami yeah, nah. Heretics on Vista. What the fuck happened? Yeah, nah. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Let's see the stats, though. You guys are getting I, Can we pull up the game once, though? Yeah, let's pull up the game once, though. Oh, Jesus, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Scrappy, I mean, what happened? I mean, Wait, I was kind of checked can someone, out. That's they the were playing good. the most hell I've ever seen Ernie with, by the way. Carry on, Scrap. What? The most hell I've ever seen you with in my life. Oh, wait, safety fourth map, cocksucker. Um, but, yeah, no, um... It was just, you know, mixy map. That map's kind of... Th th it's the mixiest map in the game right now. This this map is fucking absurd. Running the P1 it's, with 800 it, doors? No, no, nah, nah, it's not even that, bro. P4 to P1 spawns are fucking hell. That's where the map goes to shit, bro. Is it P4? Right? P4 to what? Not P4. It's P5 uh, to P5. P1. P5. P5 to P1, the, like, transition spawns, that is hell. Yeah, nah, we just gotta learn the map. We're just, honestly just trying to get reps on new maps, trying to figure everything out. Uh, and yeah. I mean, you guys are just getting fucking gun map, map one, one, to be honest. Then map two, I'm fucking clueless. God knows what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, map but, two, uh, you guys yeah. went down 5-2 in the map number two. Map three was a Toby masterclass. I don't know what happened map four. No, Toby was shitting. Map four. Toby was 23 and map 12 points, and they weren't expecting it. Was that criminal? Or, like, can I add that? It, it was criminal, yeah, yeah. but you got to think. They were going, he was doing the opposite Zuma. So it's like, you know, yeah, kind of got to yeah. think. Come on, dude. Pat, you don't got to say it like that. Pat, you don't got to say it like that. My bad. You know what I mean? Slay, come on, Slay. What's wrong with this guy? Fuck. Oh, yeah, I'll let you guys take over the series. Yo, you had a, uh, you had, <laughs> hold on, Scrap. You had a, uh, you had Ben praying on your downfall in this series, bro. He, he, he yo, let out a tweet. Yo, I had the series. Give a the fuck what he I had him tweeted, at bro. All, bro. This no, guy I had him tweeted. Like he it. means anything to anyone. Like I don't care. Scrap, I, I do. Scrap, scrap, I do have a question for you. When yeah. you guys were down five two in the S and D, what were the comms like? How did you guys adapt? What was something that you felt like you guys weren't doing that you guys started to do that helped you guys get that W in the map too? Because I feel like if you guys go down O two in the series, it gets a little scary because it could potentially yeah. go to a last map, right? So like, how what was the comms like with the squad and when you guys were down five two? I just think uh, I'm pretty sure. I think we I think we were saying like, bro, we just need info. Like before we die, we need info. Like we Start just didn't. We we, we were just like running, just dying, and then like they just had full control of shit. Or yeah. that like they're just running down the little map killing me, that doesn't always help. Mm -hmm. Um, no one brought up to like, yo, we need covert. Like, you know, somebody, yo, we just gonna start using covert. I mean, I've never put on lightweight, and I still can't even fucking run around, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we're getting funded out here, yeah, literally. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Nah, uh, you guys were getting ran out for the bloods. I was actually tweaking watching. Like they were just hitting a lane, like just straight fifty fifties for seven straight rounds, and it was working every round. Yeah, like, I, it, it eventually just like you guys started pre aiming and you got fucking Dylan, fucking Jamie just pacing. It's really just exactly yeah. what happened to Boston, bro. Like Boston was just running it down and they got uh, came back Miami on by the by Miami. <laughs> like eight 50 50s in a row for the blood and just yeah. running, just sprinting. I saw, um, I saw Vickle. He was trying to hit gaps in the S and D, bro. Like he was definitely he trying was to running make down plays. middle of the map, he running, was really he was. He he literally just running. Times. Um, I have one, but this is the round 11 here, and, and look at where he is in the round 11 Holy already. fuck, this was insane. Look at how he gets here. I mean, this is a round 11 play here from Javi. I, he Toby, must Toby be feeling nice. Calm. Toby could, couldn't, couldn't even calm. He was mind blown. He was actually doing this. Hey, look at this. Look at where he... Oh, shit. Toby was trying to put shots into him. To good thing Toby turned, huh? Good thing he yeah, turned and saw it. Like, Toby doesn't turn. Bro, if Toby nah, doesn't nah, turn we here. The play, we called the play 5-5, five, five, and I just said, like, under my breath a little. I was like, yeah, just, like, watch some of this dumbass shit they'll do, like, just running down mid. But then we just kept doing the play, and then he was like, bro, 
Oh, he, he's running down the fucking yeah. middle of the map. Also, <laughs> right here, bro, I feel like Javi should out trigger. He as soon as as soon as Toby shoots at him here, like boom, shots go down. It. He's gotta know that they're coming chicken coop to come trade him here. They, hey, I I, I would have liked to see him pre-aim this and kill these guys chicken. I mean, he did get caught with a stun. But good place from you guys just to kind of wrap back. And then scrap once once Wait. Envoy gets that kill, that gives him a streak. I'm not gonna lie, this might be the first five five S and D round I have ever played in my whole career. That like mid round, my teammates get two streaks. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually fucking insane, bro. That kill from so that kill that Dylan got right there gave gave him the streak. And yeah, then and Insight then finds another info. kill. He gets the info. Insight gets a kill, and he gets a streak. And then the streak comes down from from Insight. Oh my god, I was mind blown. What he's doing this? He just started running down the street. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I don't know what the hell. He tried to make a play at that point because they were in a two v four, but. Yeah. Um, good plays to pick him up, Vickle. It was a good opportunity. It was a good try, bro. Good tries from Vickle. I know that's your boy, uh, Scrap. I know you and Vickle go way back, bro. Um, yeah, he's my guy. And maybe maybe Vickle thought you guys wouldn't expect He had you guys for a second, bro. If Toby doesn't turn around, it might have looked a little different. But um, good pickup from Toronto, and uh, they they keep their composure, bro. They keep their composure, and they, they close out the map number two. Uh, and then we get into the control. I mean, Scrap, the control was, what, pretty simple, pretty easy? Uh, yeah, they just got fucking chokes them. Okay. Go buy his Kleenex master clothes. Yeah. Do you guys think Miami got better with Real? I think they got better. They seem like they've improved. That Real shooter, is just bro. really fucking good. No, that kid's a shooter 100%. No, they, definitely did. They, definitely did. They, they definitely got better, but like until they win a map on land, bro, I can't say anything about these guys. That's fair enough as well. That's, that's a great point, Chris. 0 12, like what do you say? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I mean, an, an, an 0 12 map count is is tough. I'll be honest with you. They, they definitely got to get one on the board. Uh, I tip land. it, though. They were in game chat after map one. I tip it. <laughs> they were they? They were chirping? You know, they're just in my ear. Like, no, nah, metal, metal is just in my ear. It's really? That's Spanish hilarious. Yeah, when, like, no, no. He just, I don't even know what he was doing, bro. I don't know. <laughs> he was playing something in my fucking ear. And I was like, bro, what is this shit doing? I don't, I don't, I don't nah, bro. If I, if I got a Vamos ripped in my ear mid like, yeah, after you're losing one, composure, bro. I'm losing composure. No, actually, Gr no. Granted, he did play you guys, but, like, dude, Metals is on, like, a streak of point sevens. I'm not even lying. Like, I think yeah. he, well, he had a point six eight there. Like, he's bro. on a streak. I don't know he's what. He's getting himself going. You know I don't right? know yeah, what happened. Are they, wait, is he, well, they played Vista, so I didn't. Uh, was he running an AR still? Are they yeah. still doing that? Yeah, his, he was. Fall off needs to be studied. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Bro. Yeah, we were talking about him being a top five sub at the beginning. He was. But I'm gonna be honest. I think he was just catching rhythm early on. He was just feeling himself early. I don't know what the heck happened as as time has this gone. This game's on, a game of flow. People learn how to play the game of flow. Game. No, 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 no. It's a game of flow. Trust me. I mean, me. I feel like every cod's like that though. Nah, it is true. Like you just... <laughs> like every game's like a rhythm. Like especially HP. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. It. it it's all about momentum. It's, I feel like once you catch that momentum, I mean flow state, right? That's pretty much momentum. I feel. And I feel yeah. like it's hard to it's hard to catch flow state when you're getting like when your team yeah, because you, you, you get thrown like, into a cycle yeah, where you know you're like, dying four times. When your team's row. getting slammed, like, like I don't you know how much flow you're like, sure. gonna get. 100%. Somebody somebody in the chat put uh, Metal's KDs for the last four matches: 0. 0.57, 0. 0.71, 0. 0.74, and a 0. 0.68. That is fucking criminal. That is getting fucked. That is criminal. That's <sighs> that is horrible. so fucked. Oh, One fuck. play I do want to pull up. This is the Karachi Harpoint. This is something I saw once I was able to finally fucking get to the office set everything up and get here i actually was able to tune in a little bit this spawn here scrap this shit might have saved y'all's life oh yeah no they gotta read that they got <laughs> let's wait, wait, let's wait, wait. let me see let me see i'm gonna oh, let this shit. play out they, the i thought you were talking about bro. something else no 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 two go down boom two go down right boom four dead clean four dead Look at where where the spawns come up here. Boom. He's having a life map. Holy One shit. guy spawns junk. No, and who no. is it? Jesus fucking Christ. It's 34 and 18 bro, Scrappy. God, who spawns in the back? I mean, there's a reason. P1, I'm not bro. saying it, though. So, I know what that nah, reason under is, Under 30 seconds. They're too far pushed up. Well, Scrap, Scrap, here's the thing, right? You say you have a reason, uh, he's right? He's double positive. That's why he got the spawn. But the thing is, yeah, is exactly. one guy spawns same, up, same, Scrap, time, right time, before you. Yeah, bro, he's under. It's it's Yo, under. They fixed the time, time though. That's godlike. I mean, under X amount of time, he spawns in the back. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, Every time we watch a dog shit P1 Karachi, it's always with like some sort of low time on P1. Every yeah, time. Every time. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, bro. One guy spawned junk, and less than a second later, Scraps already spawning behind him. That don't bro, make no sense, bro. bro I've said this before. It makes there, sense. It does make sense. Well, I there's probably before, logic bro. to it, Scrap, because you play the game every day. And you know yeah. how the shit happen. You you're one with the shit. But I'm saying Trust in me, I general, when I spawned, I was mind blown when I spawned here too. 100. I, I said, holy shit! I spawned. I spawned back dump. They're a priority. <laughs> I spawned back dump. 
there are hill, there are spawn <laughs> priority alive. shifts that happen like as the hill, next hill gets like at, to to the end. It's just I mean, number three is legit. Like, are we not saying this? He's legit and coop. Yeah, <laughs> like, we got to like yeah yeah. This, we got to like motherfuckers. Wait, he ended up repinching right dump too. Yeah, That's he, a is hell route. he is in coop. He is in fucking coop. Wait, Vickle right? was in coop and he <laughs> ended up pinching dump. He that ended is up an pinching dump route. at JB's back spot preeminent. That is an unbelievable route. Nah, that's actually crazy. The fact that he's even pushing through Coop there when there's 25 seconds left, they just got a clean wipe, and they got it. When you get a clean wipe, you know Toronto off spawn is just going to try and rotate. They're just going to try and get the new coming off those red spawns. I'm really surprised he's all the way chicken coop right here. Not Bruce, that's comedy, right? Yeah, this guy's coop. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like it's fine if he's here if number two's blocking. But the thing is, he ain't blocking. So this is a guaranteed spawn out almost 10 out of 10 times, I feel like. In coop. Really? Oh, even if he was blocking, he's, he's top broken. He's top broken. That's where he is. He's playing Bruce, even, so Bruce even if he was blocking, would you want your teammate there? Even if somebody yeah, not was with blocking. Not with 20. I feel like if they want to take that route, let them take the route. Sprinting through red yeah, and hobby I bumping time. I think four dead in this situation get out of three. Three? Yeah, yeah three. I mean, Javi bumps Javi time here. And then he has to play that, though. He has to play that. Play Coop. Javi has to play that. No, not play Coop. No, that's just... He has to play, he has to play. play the he repitch. Play he has to play the repitch. He has to play the repitch. He, 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 he could just play double AC right here, and if he sees no one yeah. hitting the right, he just bumps the I think he has to bump because no one on his team is blocking. And if they're a CDL caliber franchise Call of Duty team, and they know no one's blocking, they should know this as We went off that. I understand that, but like oh, yeah, you're, no, you're gonna no, have sure. you're gonna have help in red. You yeah, have to bump time no, because you, you didn't right. block this. Dog I mean, kind of scrap. Bump. You guys went off that in 12 seconds, but I mean they just got a four clean, clean wipe. You know what I mean? If anything, like I'm sure they can. If he goes top doubles here and just looks over hill, like he could work any trades. Yeah, 100%, if, if you do push doubles, old, he just stays there. Yeah, top double is probably the best play here because then he can bump, four can go, and then they can nah, cut. I, the only reason so I disagree what? is because, like, I don't know if this is a readable spawn. To Ernie it is, but, you know, they're good at hard point. Like, bro, if this spawn is open, the reason you want to bump here is the, the, rest of the, the rest of the map is now irrelevant. If that spawn that Scrap just got is open, the only fights that matter for the rest of this game are happening in red and happening in new. Even if yeah. they hit old, they're going to hit old through yellow or they're going to hit old through mid-cut because there's, what, X amount of time left. And they're going to yeah. get that junk spawn. So they're going to go through red regardless. It's like, oh, we got a blessed junk spawn. Let's just hit this. Like, yeah. every fight that's going to happen for the rest of the game is going to be in red. I see no some holding top three there. I, I feel see like some... there's some weird spawns that, like, in this new update, bro. Oh, oh yeah. you think they changed? It's not they've changed, but, like, you'll get these random spawns sometimes. Hmm. Like, next to people. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. I watched our match back. It definitely bro, changed. It definitely changed. Bro, right. the invasion control, They three of teammates spawned back blue, and we, we four stacked A, and one of them spawned in rugs. That's like, crazy. That is like, fucking crazy. I, I, don't, I don't get that. Like, it, like shit like that, that makes no sense to me. Yeah. I think it's always a problem when spawns start happening that are legit unreadable. Like, you, 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 there's no logic to them. Like, yeah, in, like spawning rugs, like, that makes no, like, the, no one's in back spawn. No one's even anywhere. I think yeah. Karachi's the hardest map to read. Like, yeah, every hill. Really P5, weird, you don't know when they're P3 or spawning fucking bro, Also, that you, new don't. map, bro. Vista, bro. Vista Vista's has hell, bro. Crazy Vista's ass spawns. insane. Vista is fucking criminal, bro. You just gotta have your gun up mid-map at all times. Just spin botting. Uh, I see a few people in the chat talking about it. Um, I mean, I'll bring it up. Sam, I know you talked about it a little bit too, but Dylan Envoy in hard point right now, you feel like has kind of been like a struggle for him. Yeah. Um, do you think it's a slump from Dylan or you think it's maybe just a play style thing? I mean, Scrappy, maybe you could tail into it a little bit. Um, maybe there's just not enough kills to go around. I mean, Scrappy <laughs> is literally fucking 40 and 18. I mean, what do you think it is, Sam? Maybe he's just in a little slump. I think he's just in a slump, to be honest. I think he's in his own head a little bit from the event. Like, he didn't have a good event. I think that's just, like, kind of still lingering a little bit. Um, yeah. Also, with... i gonna be honest. Toby's been playing out of his fucking mind the last couple of uh, series, along with, obviously, Ernie. But um, I think when... It's a similar problem that I think Optic is having. I don't think it's as drastic. But it's like when one of your subs is playing extremely well, the other one kind of feels the need to, like, kind of compromise a little bit to allow them to just, like, do whatever the fuck they want. And I think Toby is an absolute green light at all times. So, like, when you have to start overcompensating a little bit and, like, switching things up with how you play, your KD is going to suffer. And I also think that he's probably in his own head a little bit with his performances in Hardpoint. Mm. I yeah, mean, I'll I say, agree. I'll say, like, bro, like, Dill is, like, Dill's not, like, he under, he's, he's, he's real with himself. Like, oh, yeah. Dill's, Dill's, Dill's very not sitting here though. saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm playing some good ass COD right now. Oh, of course. Like, he's, he's, like, <laughs> that's what I love about Dylan. Like, he's a great player. Well, here, he's, got, he's, takes accountability. He's got some stats for like, you. Like, he, he's, he's admitted he's went, in interview, he's went in interviews and said, like, bro, I'm not playing the best COD. Yeah. But like we're still this playing the well. First person that's we're still playing this well. Bro. We're still trying to this learn this. Go ahead, Pat. Ten hard points. This is medals, Pat. This is medals. This stats. No, 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 envoys, envoys. Oh, this it's is like, envoys. Yeah. I thought you said medals. Go this ahead. Last ten hard points. Point nine. Point five. Point five. Point five. Point seven. Point six. Point three. Point seven. Point six eight. 
But it's struggling. definitely been a stretch. Yeah, well, you you wait, who was, wait, like, what do you want me to say? Did you say We're point three? Even yeah. even. Did you say point yeah, three, Pat? Like, yeah, he had a that was at the event. Dog, he's gorillas. clutching up my S and D's. He's clutching up my fucking S and D's. He's got thirteen in the search, bro. He's clutching up the oh, fucking S and D's. He went nine and twenty-six. At least he's 23. good for something. <laughs> Those two three fives are. He did right have a now. two point one seven. I mean, he is dropping, and he was doing that at the event too. It's just the hard points. Everything no, it's else, just go, hard go, points. go, go read my search. Yo, go read my search KDs. I know your search KDs are fucking dog shit, bro. You know what I mean? They got me. But They're Bill's a playmaker awful. though, so like it's 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 almost like similar to Ant, where the KD yeah. is like there's more than just the KD with like like those type of players that just open up the map and like they're just that's facts, Bruce. I don't that's know, facts. they're just like they're I always hated there. that. I always hated that as a submachine gun player too, who played. Like I always hated that people talked about stats so heavily when it came to that role. Like like yeah. you said, like Shotzi, it yeah. might be like Dylan Envoy, like anybody who plays like that. They're that being fun. annoying, but like they're just not getting killed sometimes because like maybe they're just staying alive because their lives are just more important. If they stay alive in a in a particular part of the map, then somebody else on their team is going to get more map control. They're going to get kills, and now they're just like they're 100%. just always being like annoying for the other team. But they're not always going to get kills doing that, but. Yeah, it's just Perhaps. being an impact. It's just being an impact. A point three also, a, a point three, we can't let that slide either, though, to be fair. When was that? Scraps last, last 10 S&D KDs. Point three, point six, point eight, point five, 1.1, Jesus Christ. Get him in a shot so, right I mean, now. <laughs> I mean, you and Envoy are mirroring each other just in different modes. You exactly. Damn, boys. Dude, like, bro, this thing is fucking dog shit, like... Oh God, it is. It's fucking dog <laughs> shit. Like I just like I got no flow in it. There's right no now, left man. stick in that dog shit game mode, no bro. No fucking flow. No From way. One, I go right. I get hit with fucking three nades, man. Like I, I go left. There's fucking three stuns. Like what map did you play? Karachi, you want to hear my fucking route? I'll tell you it because I've done What's, it the whole fucking year. I climb <laughs> offense. <laughs> you, I even you go top AC. He goes go top flat. Offense isn't the fucking. That's not. I can switch it up. Defense, stop fucking flat. Stop going top, top mid, bro. Stop going top flat. Like maybe. I'm just, just trying to get the info. Someone tell me. Like they he did. He climbed the ladder and shot you in the back today. Kyler, he climbed the ladder and shot you in the back. Scrap today. Ernie, pull out a sub. Ernie, pull out a sub and search and get in a red, bro. Jesus Christ. Hey, shut up, bro. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, any other final thoughts from Toronto, Miami, other than Toronto just slapped them up? Uh, I don't think so. Are there any any final questions for Scrap? Wait, next, yeah, bro. Next match, y'all got phase. How oh, you that's gonna be a matchup. That's gonna be fun. How are you feeling, Ernie? I'm good. You good? Is that that's Sunday, right? Uh, yeah. S Scrap, how you feeling going up against FaZe? You feeling good? Feeling calm? Yeah. Feeling good, huh? Yeah. You feeling good, big feeling good. I don't know why I just said that. I'm feeling, feeling good. good. <laughs> <laughs> why did Brucey answer for Scrap? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Any questions no, for Scrap? I actually playing for checkouts tonight, no, we'll, bro. We'll I hear this no, Sam. Sam, you're a wise man. Bro, he's no, actually right, playing you're a long game. Checkouts. Scrap, your last 10 controls, though, are kind of nutty. 1.3, 1.3, 1.5, 1.15, 1.3, 1.3, 1.1, 1.7, 1.4, 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.100, 1.101, 1.102, 1.103, 1.104, 1.105, 1.106, 1.107, 1.108, 1.109, 1.110, 1.111, 1.112, 1.113, 1.114, 1.115, 1.116, 1.117, 1.118, 1.119, 1.120, 1.121, 1.122, 1.123, 1.124, 1.125, 1.126, 1.127, 1.128, 1.129, 1.130, 1.131, 1.132, 1.133, 1.134, 1.135, 1.136, 1.137, 1.138, 1.139, 1.140, 1.141, 1.142, 1.143, 1.144, 1.145, 1.146, 1.147, 1.148, 1.149, 1.150, 1.151, 1.152, 1.153, 1.154, 1.155, 1.156, 1.157, 1.158, 1.159, 1.160, 1.170, 1.171, 1.172, 1.173, 1.174, 1.175, 1.176, 1.177, 1.178, 1.179, 1.180, 1.181, 1.182, 1.183, 1.184, 1.185, 1.186, 1.187, 1.188, 1.189, 1.190, 1.191, 1.192, 1.193, 1.194, 1.195, 1.196, 1.197, 1.198, 1.199, 1.200, 1.201, 1.202, 1.203, 1.204, 1.205, 1.206, 1.207, 1.208, 1.209, 1.210, 1.211, 1.212, 1.213, 1.214, 1.215, 1.216, 1.217, 1.218, 1.219, 1.220, 1.221, 1.222, 1.223, 1.224, 1.225, 1.226, 1.227, 1.228, 1.229, 1.230, 1.231, 1.232, 1.233, 1.234, 1.235, 1.236, 1.237, 1.238, 1.239, 1.240, 1.241, 1.242, 1.243, 1.244, 1.245, 1.246, 1.247, 1.248, 1.249, 1.250, 1.251, 1.252, 1.253, 1.254, 1.255, 1.256, 1.257, 1.258, 1.259, 1.260, 1.271, 1.272, 1.273, 1.274, 1.275, 1.276, 1.277, 1.278, 1.279, 1.280, 1.291, 1.292, 1.293, 1.294, 1.295, 1.296, 1.297, 1.298, 1.299, 1.300, 1.301, 1.302, 1.303, 1.304, 1.305, 1.306, 1.307, 1.308, 1.309, 1.310, 1.311, 1.312, 1.313, 1.314, 1.315, 1.316, 1.317, 1.318, 1.319, 1.320, 1.321, 1.322, 1.323, 1.324, 1.325, 1.326, 1.327, 1.328, 1.329, 1.330, 1.331, 1.332, 1.333, 1.334, 1.335, 1.336, 1.337, 1.338, 1.339, 1.440, 1.451, 1.452, 1.453, 1.454, 1.455, 1.456, 1.457, 1.458, 1.459, 1.460, 1.471, 1.472, 1.473, 1.474, 1.475, 1.476, 1.478, 1.479, 1.480, 1.481, 1.482, 1.483, 1.484, 1.485, 1.486, 1.487, 1.488, 1.489, 1.490, 1.491, 1.492, 1.493, 1.494, 1.495, 1.496, 1.497, 1.498, 1.499, 1.500, 1.501, 1.502, 1.503, 1.504, 1.505, 1.506, 1.507, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.
Could have fooled me. No, nah, hell yeah, no. I mean, hey, hey, are hey, you hey. undefeated, Brucey? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much we are the same thing, but Pat. Yeah. Okay, phenomenal. That's going to do it for predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty straightforward. Wait, we'll wait, what, what does happens. Ben have? What does Ben have? I don't know. What does Ben oh, have? Yeah, ben I mean, will pick uh, you see here? Uh, I mean, uh, uh. <laughs> ain't no problem here. It looks like there's something on their map over here. Definitely so. thinking, uh, I think Los Angeles things here. Definitely central. off to Texas. And, uh, of course, well, if they can't figure it out against fans, and I don't really know if they're going to the in the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that picture of Ben always gets me, man. Look at this guy. That's Look good. That's good. All right, let's move on. Let's answer some questions. Uh, all these questions were posted in the Zoo Mafia Twitter community. So appreciate everybody who's over there right now dropping your questions. Uh, there's been some good ones coming in. We've been doing call-ins, but the questions have been shit. So we talked about it internally yesterday. And uh, Sam, you were the one who mentioned it, maybe doing it yeah, on other bro, platforms the, nah, and stuff. Nah, Brand is not playing for checkouts, bro. The call-ins are playing yeah, for yeah, checkouts. Yeah, yeah, uh, The call-ins are like, well, what is that? Is that just like, we're just bro. taking anything? Bro, yeah, the, the call-ins call the 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 call have been tough questions. Yeah, ready, ready? Ready? Ain't going you, do, you do slow-mo Twitch chat. Now nah, we well, I think this is actually perfect, Scrap, to be honest with you. We're doing the Twitter community, and uh, there's a lot of good ones in here. We'll, we'll do like two or three questions. We'll get a few questions in here, and we'll call it a day. First question coming in from Drew. Early predictions, what four teams are not making it to champs? I'm going to go Seattle, Seattle Miami, Boston, Boston, LAG. Yeah. Is that who I don't you know about are? LAG. LAG might make it. It would be squeak. that surge. Probably surge at this rate. Yeah. I don't I think even Miami, know the points. I can't lie. Miami, both, Boston, Seattle. Seattle, yeah, pull it up Boston, Boston, Miami. The last one's tough. Hmm. The last one is tough. I would probably I it go Seattle. could be Seattle. LAG if they don't do like a little miracle dog shit fucking loser bracket run. Yeah. If Carolina doesn't change, I'm going to pick them. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Seattle, Miami, bro, Boston. Bro, I'm not going to lie. If Carolina change and they just all moved, like, bro, that's a They're dagger. They're not changing, bro. That's a dagger. They're not going to change, yeah. Not Gwen change. just ran up a $1,000 tab on Clayster, so I think he's probably chilling right now. Damn, I didn't realize yeah, how much of a hole Boston is, bro. Boston is Wait, we in all a have Boston. Wait, Boston's in a hole, bro. Yeah, they are, bro. Yeah, they're in Holy hell. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. We all have uh, them not qualifying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So Boston, Surge, Miami, and then LAT's all... in there, too, bro. It might be LAT. LAT's we'll... in there, too, but I don't know. It is a race to champs right now, huh? Because they're all really t It's a close race I mean, here. But LAT's two matches away, though. They're two matches away, though. They're only one series behind. Like one. They have a really good schedule this year, or this qualifier, too. Like... Uh, strength of schedule was. This is literally gonna. Games. This is literally gonna come down to LAG, bro. If somehow LAG plays well at the next major, but still like struggle, they'll they'll probably make it. But if they if they don't string together some wins online, bro, I don't think they make it. I like yeah. I, I mean I don't think they make it. I actually think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Boston, Surge, Miami, and Gorillas. That's that's my four. Who's your yeah. Who's your four, Sam? Who's your exact four? I think, it, it, I think it's. The, I actually think it's the same as you. Same thing. I, like. It's just whatever, like, LAT, Gorillas, Ravens, whoever bombs out of the next loser's run, I think doesn't qualify. Like, I yeah. think, who, like, whoever shows up to Major 3 and gets, like, rounded, I think, between them, probably won't qualify. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Damn, good. 50 yeah. points. 50 yeah, the bottom points four, is crazy. Whoever gets rounded in the bottom four is fucked. Yeah. yeah. Bro, but they're, they're not, they're, like, they're a gone. roster that I would expect to be, like, 50 points. So. If, if LAG... Boston being in last is insane to me. Yeah, Boston, at the beginning of the year, if you would have told me they'd be last with 50 going into Major 3, like, the qualifiers, I'd be like, holy shit. Yeah. Somebody fucking blacked out. If LAG don't win at least <laughs> somebody blacked out in that camp. If if LAG don't win at least two matches in this stage, I think I have them not making champs over pretty much uh, anybody else that you would pick in that third or that fourth slot. Because I I have Seattle, Heretics, Boston, and then LAG. If they don't win two series in this online split, I don't think they make champs. Yeah, Pat, what, who do you got? Pat, who's your four? They'll be close, bro. Um, I got the same four y'all have, except I have Carolina instead of LAG. You got Carolina said LAG. Interesting. Very Wait, But interesting. who do you have going in? It's LAT? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have LAT making it. Yeah. Wait, uh, somebody in chat said LAG. LAG going in too, look here. <clears throat> LAG plays Carolina on Sunday. That's a fucking big match. Someone's like, got to win, bro. Qualification. I just, I just don't think win. win can do what he's doing every single series. Like, that's the only way that team wins. I mean, he's 1.1 perma, and they're, they're not even close. So... Um, okay, let's take a look at the next question. Um, this one's actually specifically for you, Sam. 
Nice. Uh, specifically for Sam Octane. It's one of the most thumbs up ones though, so we're gonna we're gonna let it fly. With this okay. game being so AR heavy and forcing traditionally sub players to play different than they would have in the past years or in years past, do you think this might hinder the performance of those players in future titles where do we need to run a sub again? Uh no. I, I think um like the adaptation would be hard, but always going back to like whatever natural world that you ran prior is gonna be easy. Like if Brandon ran a sub this year and then ran an AR next year, he'd be fine. Yeah. Like Scrap's already a flex, so it's kind of a different combo for him. But um, I, I don't think it's it's that big of a deal at all. Like transitioning to an AR is a lot easier than transitioning to a sub. I think Wait, this the, is game, good. the game Sorry. like slows down and good. it's easier to play. Like you have more time to think, and when you're a sub, you're making like double the decisions in a respawn that you would be than yeah, uh, with an I, AR. I do think I do think that transition is harder when you have to speed up your play when you go from AR yeah. to sub. I think exactly. the best ARs in the world though could could make a switch and play, use a sub if they wanted to. I would like yeah, argue. Ones. I would argue this is going to make people better. Like, the harder... It's like you're... Right now, playing this game, like, not with gunfight-wise, but just, like, how you have to play, like, in route-wise. Like, you're playing with ankle weights on these maps. Like, you play a map that has some flow. I mean, you're seeing it on... When we introduce maps like Rio, wow. like, boy, them subs are taking the fuck over on those maps. Like, yeah. it's... They're, they're pretty much fucking Rock Lee. Like, right now, they got the ankle weights on, and when they start playing normal maps, normal Call of Duty, they're going to take those off, and it's going to be better. Yes. Outside of MW3, I think it's you in transition back fine. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, Scrap, Bruce, would you agree with that, being AR players? For the most part, I mean, Scrap, you're basically an AR player. You're flex. Same shit. Yeah, the rival's insane, Tom. Is that what you guys are asking? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. You guys want to G the barrel? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, no. I'm down to keep the shit on. <laughs> I'm looking at some of these other questions. I'll, I'll get another one. This is one coming in from Chandler. This was another one that got a lot of thumbs up. This one said, put cheese or not cheese aside... Why do you think the league agreed to allow a team to host champs this year? Like, regardless of the team, every champs from Black Ops 2 to MW2 was league hosted and league funded. What's the difference now? Good question. I kind of hinted this to this before. I was saying maybe Optic's doing the league some favors here by hosting this event. Like, I don't really know. Hello. Hey, Benjo. Oh, shit. Well, well, well. If it isn't the man of the hour. If it oh, isn't no. the man of the yo, hour. Yo, 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 the, fact, the fact that he joined and interrupted you is it's, it's just typical. That, 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 that's that's on, right on cue, am I right? That's on cue. It may have been intentional. Do you want me to answer this question, by the way? Yes. Yeah, so okay, okay, answer this question. Or what yeah, so that should have been. Uh, I, I think, down, listen, really? I, I think okay, uh, the about. reason I don't think there's been a sort of a team host a chance before is I just don't think... It's a topic that's ever been brushed before with the team, and they had a really good plan. But like, if any franchise, like I, I think we can all trust Optic. Like I, I Corey Dunn, for example. Corey Dunn's Optic the is, goat, bro. They've been planning events. I mean, he runs a whole venue. If I can trust any franchise to do a banger champs, like Optic's gonna be the one to pull it off. So I don't I think the just, debate is whether they can do a good job. That's not the issue. Why they're doing it? Why they're doing the job? Why did the league let a host? Why Optic, let a team Carolina, do it? Yeah. It doesn't matter who. Be allowed mm. to host the main event, and I don't think that is that should happen. What if what if they're covering like full costs? Like if there's a cost reason, you can use that money for something I, else. I on mean, the side. then that then that's kind of insane though. Like right. that they're way, doing them a favor. Buy, you can buy chance. Yeah, like that's, that's, that's what I said. That's, so I, I, mean, I that, like, that to me is more worrisome for the league as a whole. I don't have any issues with it, but I want to know the extent of which the optic champs goes. Like again, as I, like I mentioned at the top of the show, like am I walking into champs as a competitor in the league and like seeing optic shit everywhere? Like it's a home optic, event, or is it, or is it just like, is it just champs like presented by optic and it's still like what the normal champs feels like? Because if I'm walking into a home major as the final tournament of the year, I'm fucking tweaking. Mm -hmm. But if I'm walking into just like champs and it's there's no specific bias or anything it's just thrown by optic then i think that's completely different yeah. your question yeah it is a good question from like Chandler. how far does that actually reach you know what i mean yeah no i uh it's it's interesting it's definitely interesting i'm i'm kind of on the same page i'm on the page here where i feel like optics kind of doing the league a favor here like there's a there's a reason for them hosting the event and i also agree with you ben uh, if Optic's running the event and Corey Dunn's running the event, it's going to be a fire event. It's going to be sick. It's going to be a banger for sure. Um, so I'm excited for I, it. You, if there's anyone in the league that I have faith to host an event, it's going to be Optic. It's going to get the most eyes. It's like every event's an Optic event fucking anyway. So yeah. I think that they have the best resources to throw Actually. an insane Call of Duty event. But again, I'm just curious where like the reach actually goes with their attachment to it. Yeah, uh, let's do uh, one more question. This message, uh, this question is coming in from Jesse. Thank you to everybody who joined the Zoomafia uh, uh, community and asked some some questions. We've got some good ones in here. If you can make a team from the bottom eighteen players, 
Who would it consist of to possibly make the league a top five heavy league? So you have to make a squad using the bottom eight teams. Um, we could even make Gwen this. Lins. Gwen Lins. I was going to say attach. Gwen for sure. Priesta. Gwen for sure. Ghosty or Geo. Priesta's Actually, we ball answered ball this ball. question before, didn't we? We answered this before. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think it's simple, bro. It's it's Gwen Lynn attached for sure. Those and are like AR, the either Ghosty yeah. or yeah. Geo. No, Priesta? My high. Preston could be a good shot there. He just but... won champs. Yeah, Priest is a good shot. I, I think P Dog would be a good player to just kind of be like a flex role, like put him in a flex role, and kind of be like the leader for them. Because I feel like, I feel like you need a player like P Dog that could kind of just like fill in gaps and like get you wins. I mean, that's ultimately what you want to get in the end. And P Dog is the most winning. Is he still the most I... winningest in the CDL after the two first majors that were? I, don't, I think yeah. he. I think it's Dill now. No, I think it's Dill now. After major one this year, I'm pretty sure it's Envoy. Oh, is it Envoy? Yeah. Oh, you I think right. it's Envoy now. So after Dylan major, I, I, would, I mean, from what I've seen from Geo, I'd probably be Geo. What's up, hey, Scott? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I think I think Geo has been a better so. player than Priest of this year. I'm a big Geo fan, so I would say Geo. Keep Geo. Well, I think it's I just like the core three of Gwynland's attached, and then you can argue the fourth. Go, yeah. Ghosty, Ghosty is the only other like person that I would trust like to play on that like hypothetical team as well. Yeah. I would just rather have Dylan. Let's do this next question here. We have uh, a question from Raheem. We'll we'll end on this question. Should Miami stop with the Spanish gig and make a roster that can win on land? Just looking for your input on that team. Mm. Do you think Miami should switch up the flow instead of this uh, Spanish instead of this Spanish gimmick? What do you guys? I mean, think? they're not they're mm. not they're not the worst. I like team. the Spanish gimmick. I like it. They're not the worst team in the league. At least like on land they are. But I mean, you can't even argue against that if they have another event like they they have like but we it's we've already talked about this like this the spanish gimmick is is just it's chalk brothers they are winless on land yes yeah they should give up the gimmick they are i agree with so i agree with pat i think give it up up. yeah i I agree with pat i think explore some kind of mix team options especially if you want to keep some of the spanish core try and find a really good combo that's going to like overperform as a team and really grind and i think you can start to get results there I think it just limits changes too. Like when a team like Heretics is underperforming, you just look at other Spanish players as opposed to like the whole of the amateur or CDL talent to fill like whatever spot they would need on the roster. Like there, there's so many like there, there's like gate kept to be, be on their team. It was yeah. the same thing that was with like Ravens. I think Ravens was like helping on keeping like a European, European slash team, UK yeah. roster or whatever. And then eventually they brought in like Paul X and like Zapdius. I think at one point they started actually getting wins on the board. Like at a point, so they, yeah, it just needs to be gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna end it there. I think that's gonna do it for uh, today's show. Uh, oh, yo, I really want to show some love to uh, Big Brucey uh, for hopping on. Absolutely, Tom. Yeah, happy birthday again, Big Bruce. Happy birthday again, brother. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate Hope you have it. a great day, bro. And uh, shout out to Scrap. Scrap, I appreciate you coming on as well. We got Scrappy you? Ben in here, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, we what do got Scrappy Ben in here. Good combo. And Dante, he was here for a bit too. Yeah, I was yeah, getting to that. Oh, yep. Huge, huge shout out to Dante as well for hopping on oh, and kind of giving us God. like an inside the player mindset, kind of like some of the decisions that's going through their heads uh, when they're playing. I mean, guys, when we watch things on the show, right? Like we could always like you know call things out and call plays out, but it's always good to hear from the players because they're micromanaging so many things in game. Like uh, it's always cool to hear their mindset. So huge shout out to Sib. Dashy and Scrap. I uh, really appreciate all those guys. Ben hopped in here at, at the end as well. Uh, so shout out to Ben J. Shout out to everybody <laughs> that's happening. No Scrap, you got Ben J muted? You got a muted, Scrap? Yeah. You got a muted, though? Oh. That's insane levels of hatred. That's that is, crazy. That's tough. That's tough, bro. That's, that's tough. wicked just, levels of I've been hatred. Having, I've been vibing, bro. I've been vibing. And he, <laughs> it's going to kill my vibes. All right. I'm vibing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's end it there, guys. We'll obviously be back tomorrow. I'm hoping that my internet issues will be fixed so that I can hop back into the watch party Yo, tomorrow. Ben just called you a pussy, Scrap. Thoughts? Yeah, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Scrap. Ben said, fuck that long neck right. bitch. Your thoughts? The fucking hunchback of Notre Dame. Nah, shit. Make sure to like, yeah, comment, yeah. and subscribe if you want to on YouTube at Anchor.fm. So it's a place to check out all your sites. We're on. Go follow at the flank on Twitter. Uh, Gersh doing a phenomenal job running socials. Go to zuma.gg for the merch. Uh, hey, uh, ben, you had scraps under today? What the fuck? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, crazy, right?
That is kind of crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I listen. Me and Ben hit the power play. Thousand dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Power play. Let's go. It's gonna work do for well, me, Benjamin. Benjamin. It's gonna work and, for you. You know what I mean? Check out some extra. Wait, did you guys co cook on that one? Yeah, 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 guys. If you haven't already, man, okay, X Defiant. Man. Forty eight hours. Go check it out if you haven't. Uh, X Who's Defiant. Who's got the code names live, man? <laughs> Brucey's trying to get the code names going, guys. Take care. Brush your hair, and we'll see you guys next time on another episode of the Flank, man. Take it easy. Fuck you, Jalen. What's talking about? Yo, Brian, rank?